Hey folks, Lance right here. Welcome to another stream of my beta play on my new pack, Atom Smasher. All right, um, today, hey Super Gabri, awesome for you to show up so early in the stream. That's excellent. That means that probably notifications are working today. Hopefully, I hope. I hope people get notified. Anyway, let me get some music going here real quick. Probably this one will do. Actually, let's skip that one. <laughs> skip that particular music anyway. That's more appropriate. And let's get into some new beta, uh, some new play. We're going to be doing some rocketry today. Uh, uh, we had some um, some folks on. Let's see here. Let me get my Discord open here real quick. So uh, Whisperfire was on and did a bunch of. Uh, advanced rocketry stuff for us so that's ready to go and then uh, also train maniac was on and uh, he did a bunch of uh, ore processing setup for us so let's go take a look at uh, what them guys was up to down here we'll, we'll get it we'll go out there in a minute oh I'm on hover mode that's why I'm like why am I floaty because I'm in hover mode okay so uh, that is due to the the armored jetpack here uh, I did upgrade my armor to some tough alloy this stuff's nice tough alloy is pretty good We've got a few new mods to take a look at. <laughs> yeah, uh, for little be stream beginning 11 p.m. Yeah. Uh, let's see here, and back in here, love these doors. So we did we did a little bit of Malleus doors just to kind of to see what those are. I did in fact make the reactor bigger yet. You see the bigger the reactor is bigger yet. It's gonna have to get bigger even even more big. I'm gonna have to expand this reactor probably maybe today during the stream uh, but you know regardless it's gonna have to get bigger if we want to meet our power needs now because our power needs have grown immensely mainly due to the fact that uh, if we look back here we've got some processing going on some major processing so we've got this thermal evaporator thing happening back here uh, making brine uh, I believe that's what it's doing yeah it's making some brine that gets output over here to the electrolytic separator, which it uh, then uh, makes sodium and uh, chlorine. Uh, chlorine's actually getting backed up. Oh, looks like we're actually close to having a full load of hydrogen uh, chloride. Because uh, we also have this tank of hydrogen chloride here. This is like the maximum upgraded tank too, by the way. It's like the ultimate tank, ultimate. Um, and then that comes over here to the first, this is this the, f the 4x uh, ore production. So if we put some ores in this chest, they get uh, processed and they come out the other end at four times the amount that we put in. So if we put a stack of ore in, we get four stacks of ingots out. So uh, we got 4x ore processing going on down there. I still think I, I still kind of think that I would like to at some point in the future of the pack set it up so that when you run the materials through the macerator or washer and cent centrifuge you could then take that result and put it into one of the uh, mechanism machines and then even multiply it even more so basically this would wouldn't triple it doesn't quite triple it up here but you get like you get some some side some extra amounts of like little stuff. Let me let me check my volume levels here real quick. I need to should check that because my music does sound a little loud in my headphones, and I'm not sure that I'm that it's not too loud. Although that's actually turned down pretty good, turned down quite a bit. Uh, this is the the thing I need to look at. There we go. Yeah, I should be plenty well louder than the music. I think you guys, can let me know. <laughs> yeah, release the chlorine into the air. Uh, yeah, highly toxic stuff it is, for sure. Chlorine gas. Yikes. Yikes! Uh, which is what actually- I think that's what happens when you mix ammonia and bleach. You get chlorine gas and it's very nasty. Uh, makes you sick. Can kill you if you, if, you, if you inhale too much of it. Um, so yeah, gotta be careful about that if you work in a kitchen or whatever. Okay, chlorine is about to back up, and this thing should, in fact, actually stop making all this rocket. Look at that. There we go. System is backed up and shut down. Nice. Now it's nice and quiet in here. Um, 
But Train Maniac set up this uh, resistive heaters and, and the uh, thermal evaporator. I didn't even realize that um, uh, feeding your heat into the thermal evaporator was uh, a potential thing that you could do now. Um, like the thermo thermodynamic conductors and stuff were not a thing the last time I really messed with mechanism. Um, I think the last pack that I even played that had mechanism in it, I didn't even touch mechanism. So, And that was back, probably all the way back at... Uh, um, unabridged. I actually set up a bunch more of the thermal dynamic conductors so that we could uh, power up a bunch more, but then I realized that the fuel wood heater produces a ton more heat than these uh, resistive heaters. So like this one fuel wood heater will produce enough heat to make this thing pretty much go out to the maximum production. And then at that point the pump can't keep water in it because it's producing too fast. So. Yeah, six one half dozen of the um, Could have potentially probably made the whole thing work off of like one or two of these fuel wood heaters. And, and this just takes any kind of burnable fuel. So <laughs> we have a leak? No, I don't think so. I, don't think, I hope we don't have a leak. Now this thing is venting the sodium gas. Uh, the sodium is getting vented, actually getting dumped. Dumping sodium. Uh, I probably should have it set to dump excess just in case I ever need some sodium. It'll be there. A little bit of it, potentially. But I can't imagine. I don't think there's any use for it in the current, uh, in the pack the way it currently is. So uh, maybe I'll add a use for it some or some kind of use for it at some future point. Why is this not. Uh, why is this not doing its thing? That should be outputting gas in, up and in, over to here. I wonder why it's not. Interesting. Is it because there's something else in this pipe? No? Pressure tube? It should be outputting. Hang on, let's fix this. See if we can fix it. Okay, so this has... Oh, it has zero gas in it. Okay, that's why. <laughs> that's the problem. Zero gas. Oh, the hydrogen's all backed up. That's why. Okay. Okay. The. Let's see. We need to set this to dump excess. The problem with setting this thing to dump excess, though, is it'll it'll never stop running because if both sides are set to dump excess, I think it'll never stop running. I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will just continuously run at this point. So I need to figure out a way to uh, to keep this from running when it's not actually needed. But yeah, we, we obviously need some, some oxygen over here to the purification factory. Um, it might even be a good idea to have a second electrolytic separator or two that outputs the oxygen and dumps the excess hydrogen. Um, or maybe, yeah, maybe like have one, maybe have one and one. Maybe that'd be a good idea. I actually have another electrolytic separator. Let's go grab it and bring it down here. Because I think that would be a good idea. Mix the sodium with water. <laughs> well, it's sodium gas. It's not sodium, it's not solid, it's not solidified sodium crystals or anything like that. So, not sure how sodium gas should or would react with water. I know in uh, in reality, in the real world, it blows up if it's uh, pure sodium anyway. You know, clearly we wouldn't want to do that, would we? Ha ha ha. Um, of course we wouldn't if we had it. We don't have any though. Okay, so would actually end up being like because the oxygen always goes out the one side, the hydrogen always goes out the other side. Um, so if I want the oxygen to go out this side into this tank, I would actually need to place the electrolytic separator in that direction. Which is funny, it actually has some power and some water in it, so it's, it's, it's separating a little bit of extra higher oxygen right now. Uh, and then the hydrogen I would want to come over in this direction and go into this system. So how about if I bring a, of course that's another type, another line of stuff. So we're going to go underneath. Ah, put 
that back. Um, I need to go get some some lines and stuff. <laughs> Boom! Yes, yes. Hey, Loli. Hey, Vaswat. Uh, let there be nukes. Yes, there are definitely nukes in this pack for mm. sure. I'm uh, not sure that they are currently craftable, but they will eventually be if they are not. <laughs> uh, if we look at nuke. There's uh, not nuke. Nuke. Trying to type without looking. Oh, there's three types of nuke now. Uh, tactical nuke. Yeah, that's cool. Nice rocket ammo. Oh, you can shoot tactical nukes. Dang. Yeah, these two nukes apparently don't have recipes. Either that or their recipes are hidden from you, so you have to do them to figure them out. I'm not sure which is which there, but they are enabled. They are enabled. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't even show up at all on any eye, but let me get some uh, more of my bean stew here. Bean stew. I love my bean stew. I also have a bunch of stuff from when I was exploring earlier. Oh, look at all this stuff. Stuff. Is any of this important right now? Um, probably could put some of these things away. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure all these things have drawers. A bunch of these things have drawers that they can go in. So if we just do that, it clears out a lot of stuff. Why did the gunpowder not go away? I could have swore I have a drawer for gunpowder. That is gunpowder, yes. That is gunpowder. Why you know combine? What is up with that? That, that, that is gunpowder, yes. Gunpowder, gunpowder. That is like super weird. That is like odd. Oh, this has an NBT tag? Why does it have an NBT tag? Okay, I, I'm not sure what that's, uh, I'm not sure how that happened, but uh, we'll use it in here. We'll use it in there to make some more ammo later, I guess. And we'll put the regular gunpowder away. That's odd. That's I've never seen that happen before. Uh, nothing is important but nukes. <laughs> uh, okay. So, well, you have a good night, Super Gary. Have uh, sleep well. All that. This has NBT data too. That that is interesting. Interesting. I wonder how you clear that. Can you clear that? Well, of course, I guess if I craft it into nuggets and then craft it back into ingots, that would clear it, right? Because it shouldn't carry that in. Yeah, there we go. That works. That works. Is the copper the same thing, too? No, the copper is just wrong because it's the wrong kind of wrong kind of ingot. That's why it didn't go in. I can macerate it, and then that'll fix it. <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. I live uh, live in uh, mid the mid middle of the U.S. Basically, just at the edge of uh, the Eastern Standard Time Zone and Central Ta Standard Time, or uh, yeah, Central Standard. Just a little, just pretty close to the edge in Ohio. So yeah, pretty far east, west, whichever depends. Probably the exact opposite of the world, right? <laughs> anyway. Um, Gun parts go over here. So yeah, we got a new mod. Check out these models. Look at these. These are pretty cool. Metal press. There's a chemical laboratory. Uh, and the ammo press. Pretty nice. Yeah, some of the mods are adding. Uh, it, it is the new mod that I have here. The, uh, the, the gun mod is adding NBT data because I got those out of loot chests that were in bases. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's a, a thing. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but, uh, I'll have to report it on their, uh, on their, uh, uh, issue page or whatever, but we can just macerate the, uh, copper and it'll turn to copper dust. And then when I cook that copper dust, it'll turn back into mechanism ingots, which are the kind that we actually use. Uh, I could throw some more copper in here. Do I need rifle rounds right now? So I think I probably do need a few more rifle rounds. Let's throw some copper in there. These things are really loud too. Yeah, really loud. They're like they're kind of like mechanism machines as far as their loudness. Quite loud. I might have to see about turning that down in the config a little bit. Tech guns, yes. That is one of the new mods. The other one of the new mods is yo-yos. Woohoo! I got a yo-yo. Come walk the dog. Yo-yos are really actually quite fun. Um. And you can see that I've been decorating the outside of the base a little bit. A little, little de creative decorating here. We've got a few of the uh, 
the the things that are uh, from uh, uh, the the Dalek mod up on the walls. Right, Bad Wolf, because uh, we're we're a Black Mesa research facility here. A little advertising for some Seven Up. <laughs> oh, old advertising there. Um, but yeah, we. Uh, I thought that would be nice to just throw a few of those up, you know, just to kind of see what they were. And I thought it would be cool for anybody that logs in and check and sees them. Uh, so, oh yeah, and back here we've got a DeLorean. <laughs> check this thing out. It's the DeLorean from Back to the Future. You can you can drive it around and stuff. Um, it's kind of hard to say. Maybe I should go third person. There we go. Drive the DeLorean around a little bit. Um, it it it's kind of like a horse, kind of kind of acts that way. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna park it, park it. But yeah, pretty pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, just it's not something you can craft at the time at this time. It's just something I put in creatively, um, because it's one of the one of the many things of in the Dalek mod that. Uh, does not have a recipe or any any normal way to attain it uh, i'm not sure what their uh their intention is with all that but uh i might eventually add some recipes for some of that stuff we'll see um for now or i could make them quest rewards that would that would actually be that would actually probably be really a better use for some of these things that aren't craftable is make them quest rewards that way you have to do the quests in order to get some some items, some of the more exotic items. Um, we haven't even added any quests yet, so that's not not a thing yet. But uh, maybe in the maybe in the near future, we'll get to the questing, to the quest stages and stuff like that. Let me pull some more of this stuff out. See what I can put away, put in chests. Um, I ended up getting a couple more, a couple of these piston scepters, so I just need to keep one for myself, and I can put the other one in here or here. We're running out of space in chests. We're gonna have to get our. Uh, yeah, it's it doesn't have collision detection at all. <laughs> in fact, I'm, I'm sure you're being sarcastic, but um, I also picked up a hand cannon. I'm not sure what kind of ammo this takes. Uh, it says stone bullets. Uh, let's see how hard it is to make stone bullets. Uh, stone bullets right here. Uh, Gunpowder and stone gives me 16 bullets. Uh, might be worth checking out. It does decent damage. So uh, just a piece of gunpowder. I actually had, I did have some gunpowder in my inventory a second ago, but grab that, grab some stone. I think it takes, does it take regular stone? Like this kind of stone or will it do cobblestone? Nope, I need cobblestone. Figures. So that and that, then I can get some stone bullets. And of course, I don't want to keep these in my regular inventory. I have this additional inventory over here. Look at that. In fact, let me uh, let me craft some of these bullets, some of my rifle bullets up. Um, I actually crafted a scar uh, assault rifle. Pretty pretty decent weapon. Um, it's not like super early game weapon though, so. This uh, hand cannon would actually be probably pretty early game uh, craftable. Um, I just want to refill my r rifle cartridges here real quick. And I'm going to put these extra assault rounds rifle cartridges away in there. But now I can add those to there. And also, I, I already put the hand cannon bullets in there so we can just reload this thing. Oh, okay, it, did it take the whole? No, it only holds one bullet at a time. Okay, so this is like a one shot, and then you have to reload. Um, it's far. No, they 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 don't uh, have much recall. Um, we need to go find something to kill. I mean, they do sort of, but not but not really. Sort of. <laughs> we'll see. Depends. I guess it depends on what you mean by reload. Do they knock you back? No, but. Actually, I don't. I, I would. I, I actually, by either definition, I think. I think the answer is still no. <laughs> no recoil. Well, I see a red dot on my radar. Let's see if I can find what it. What is it? What is it? Ah. Oh, that was terrible. You know what? We're just gonna rifle that guy. Oh yeah, that that is a 
this is a pretty crappy weapon, I have to say. Hey, somebody left their boat down here. Maybe I shoot a maybe I can shoot a squid with it. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's That's really not all that useful. Got to reload it every time. I mean, I guess it, I guess it is like really really cheap. I bet the like the recipes for this is pretty cheap too. Recipe Oh yeah, look at that. It's just a wooden gun stock, a flint and steel, and a stone barrel. That is that is very cheap. Very cheap indeed. Okay, so it's not too surprising that it doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, there's something to shoot at. Oh, plus it... <laughs> well, I mean, it does have, like, uh, gravity. I mean, it does have physics. Come on. Ah, missing. Hold still, skeleton. I can't hit you if you don't hold still. There you go. There I hit it. I'm, I'm really pretty good with the rifle. This thing has a pretty, pretty hard to aim. Plus, you have to reload it every time. And, and these, and these skeletons move around pretty fast. Ah, missed. There, I got him. Now there's a, now there's a skull crawler there. I wonder. How much damage this will do against that guy? Still doesn't kill him. So it, it may be about as good as a bow and arrow. Regular old bow and arrow. Yeah, the bullet, well, they are stone. And it's not, doesn't have a ton of uh, propellant, you know? Uh, just one piece of, one piece of, uh, of uh, gunpowder is being distributed between, what was it, 16 rounds to start with? I think it was 16 rounds. Yeah, one, one bullet between 16 rounds. It makes sense that it's not very uh, effective, you know. But I wanted to give it a test. I wanted to give it a test since I picked, I got actually got this from a mob drop, so. Uh, probably, oops, not that inventory. This inventory, take those back out. I don't need those. Really don't need those at all. <laughs> in fact, actually this can go in there. Some more gun parts that I picked up while I was out exploring. Uh, these bronze equipment can go in there. I think I might actually have another golden apple someplace, but uh, we don't need that right now. Uh, these things are pretty cool. I found a uh, dungeon. Uh, there's dungeons in there. The uh, tech mod adds a few dungeons. And uh, the, uh, let's see, what is it? it? It's like the desert ones have these things that, uh, I need a shovel. Um, the desert ones have these things that uh, look like they're 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 bug eyes from uh, from the movie uh, Starship Troopers, basically. <laughs> they're Starship Trooper bug eyes. Um, yeah, they they look pretty much like that, and they come jumping at you and stuff if you go down in them. And but but you can find these things down in there. That's where I got those from. Um, let's just toss those in there as well. That Void Charm I actually want to keep in my secondary inventory up here. Yeah, that's something I want to, to hold on to. Uh, keep my Fire Charm in my main inventory. I don't need both of these. Uh, in fact, let's actually keep the Translocator out and the Ender Orb. I'm going to put that one away because I don't need it right now. Saddles are stacking? That's unusual. How did, uh, how did that happen? Oh, anyway, we'll put those away. And an enchanted book of the broken hook. Curse of the broken hook. What? I don't know what that is, but okay, that can go in there. Um, biome crystal. How come this didn't? Oh, that, I just picked this up. Uh, that actually would go in, oh, go put away. There we go. Another biome crystal. I'm gonna have to get a uh, thing for biome crystals. Why is oh that's orange terracotta, not just regular old terracotta? Okay, that makes sense. And a bow. What else is in the bag? Let's see what else is in the bag that we can pull out and either put away or do something with. That should have put a bunch of things away, a few things away. And uh, okay, so what do we have that didn't uh, buy them crystal? That's no. Although magic beans, I brought some more magic. We got like five magic beans now. Uh, do do do. Uh, wow, who? Who brought all of these villager corpses back? What the, dang it! <laughs> Just taking up space. Hmm. Who's the junk collector? 
Dornell. I know it's gotta been Darnell, because he's the only one that brings back useless stuff and, and keeps it forever. <laughs> he does that all the time. Uh, like why why would you why would you bring these back here? We we no need for these at all. No need for these at all. Don't need a stone sword either. Yeah, let's toss these out here. This this would make a good chest for like spare armor. There we go. Put some spare armor in there. Uh, I also picked up these things. Interesting. Mining speed gives you extra. Oh, okay, miners. I guess they're miner with boots. Of course, they're going to increase your mining speed, right? That's what they should do. And in fact, I think there's a whole set of bronze armor in here now, except for the helmet. I don't have the helmet. Okay. We'll put that in there. Spare armor. That's armor. It's not armor for a horse, but it's armor. Got some heavy cloth. I wonder what this is used for. Ah, we can make a uh, combat combat suit. Combat leggings and all that other fun stuff. What else? A beret, bandit pants, bandit masks. All kinds of cool stuff. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how much of this I have or I'm going to get, but we'll keep it in a chest. Ah, now we're, now we're out of space for that stuff. Jeebs. These things should probably... There's a bunch of stuff in here that should actually be in the drawer system. Why is it in here? There we go. Dump some of that stuff into the drawer system. Um, sandstone. A stone pressure plate. I'm not even sure what that's... Okay. Sure. We'll put it away in there, I guess. Uh, is this more redstone that uh, this has NBT tags? Okay, we know how to fix that. Fortunately, redstone in this pack can actually be broken down into small redstone. Which can then be recrafted back into regular redstone, and that will clear the NBT tag. Yay! Now it can go in the drawer system. Hoarding is healthy in Minecraft. <laughs> you say so. I mean, I'm, I'm not so much of a hoarder, but more of a like a like stockpiler, I guess. I mean, if it if it has a legitimately good use, I will hold on to it. But uh, is this is this more stuff that hasn't? Yes. More NBT tag stuff. Okay. Um, fortunately, I think that will clear it. Yes, it will. Yay. Clearing them NBTs. Uh, Kevlar armor? Probably. Let me check. Kevlar? No. 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 Nothing that specifically is called Kevlar. Um, but there. But if we look at tech mod. Tech gun mod. We can see some of the armors over here. Uh, let's see what kind of armors we got. You can get a gas mask. There's actually it does add a few new slots. You got a face slot, backpack slot, and a glove slot. Uh, I'm not sure what the. Oh, that's nice. Working gloves will increase your mining speed. That's kind of nice. Gas mask. Uh, a glider. Ooh. Wonder how well a jump pack. Uh, reloads with compressed air tank. Okay, cool. Increases your jump height, decreases fall damage, and goes on the backpacks, back slot, I believe. Yes. Um, there's also... Is that the... Oh, oxygen tanks. Hmm, interesting. Scuba tanks. Interesting. Uh, night vision goggles probably go on the thing, on your face. There's the jet pack. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. Two rockets, a glider, some fuel tanks, some obsidian plates. Uh, but that actually goes on your back slot, which is right here. So it might not. I think it's there. I think that's the back, considered the back slot. Uh, tactical mask. Interesting. The anti gravity device. Uh, ooh, that's nice. Creative flight with flying speed of plus 25. That might be nice to. Hey, Twitchy! What's up? Uh, that might actually be nice to uh, to have in addition to the uh, mechanism jetpack because the mechanism jetpack is really slow when you're flying through the air. Um, let's see what kind of air. we got soldier's armor, which probably would might be considered Kevlar style, Kevlar based. Uh, miner's helmet. Let's see what does it actually take. It just takes heavy cloth and iron. So no, not really, not not really Kevlar. Uh, the miner's outfit is really not. Is, is actually kind of interesting because it you know each each piece I believe adds a little bit to your mining speed so if you have a full set of mining armor you can actually mine considerably faster I think 
Um, let's see, we've got S Steam Helmet, Steam Chest Plate. I'm not sure how, how that does. Oh, it gives you additional bonus health. Oh, knockback resistance. That's really nice. Really high knockback resistance, too. Uh, there we go. Combat armor. That would be your Kevlar. Obsidian steel. That would be similar to probably Kevlar, I would imagine. Ooh, losing voice already. Jeez. Talking too much. Commando. Commando headgear. Ooh, that actually has rubber involved. But maybe that would be the uh, more of the Kevlar stuff, since it has some rubber involved. Uh, and then what do we got? Ranger. Ranger armor. Uh, then we get into the advanced... The advanced combat stuff, which includes carbon plates and carbon fiber. Um, yeah, a bunch of that stuff. Then then it goes up into power armor. Uh, actually, I have a suit of power armor over here just for display. Uh, hazmat, hazardous environment, uh, environment stuff. Now, I'm wondering, I really am wondering, wow, underwater mining speed plus 125%. Nice. Wow, that, that hazardous environment suit looks like it could be really quite useful really quite useful um, and then the exosuit and that is like a is that an upgrade the advanced yeah that's an upgrade of the advanced combat uh, the exosuit now that, that's probably the top tier armor for this mod okay anyway um, right here's the uh, what is this uh, I forget what this is called there, it's the uh, power armor. You can see it looks pretty cool. Really, really does look cool. Um, high quality models in this mod. I really like this mod. So far, anyway. Yep, we're just reviewing a little bit of the tech gun stuff. That's the new mod, one of the new mods that were added in the last update. And uh, yo-yos. Yo-yos was the other one. Yo-yos are pretty nice. Um, we have a DeLorean. If you want to come drive the DeLorean, <laughs> uh, so all these, all these, uh, these signs and stuff that you see, those are all added by the uh, the Dalek mod. Uh, the, you have to put them in creatively, though. There's no recipes for them right now, so I, I did add those creatively. But let's uh, let's go. Well, I would go use the yo-yo and something. Now, right now, the issue with the, the pack, I think with the next update is going to include a bunch of mob spawning changes. Like right now, it's kind of hard to find things to kill. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, let's go to let's go, go down. I think we looked at the uh, we looked at the mining or the uh, ore processing area that uh, that was at that uh, train maniac. I helped train maniac uh, put in, so we we can now actually do a bunch of extra. Or processing there. Yeah, there we go. Copper. We just we just processed a bunch of copper. I, I gave your area a door. Look, it's actually a door that's appropriate for advanced rocketry. A tech door. So we come on in here. Uh, this is looking pretty good. I was thinking about maybe going to space. Yes, yo-yos. Combat yo-yos. Walk the dog. Yeah, I, li I like yo-yos. Um, I, I discovered yo-yos while playing uh, Forever Stranded, and now I'm like, oh, I have to have that in my pack. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Um, just at Atons and, and Cybermen. Yeah, I think I think the Atons and the Cybermen, are, are, they have like a way too high of a weight compared to other other mobs or something like that, and they're just like knocking everything out. But yeah, we're, we definitely want to make... Definitely the next update I'm going to focus on, you know, trying to get a few quests in, but mo mostly I want to try and focus on changing the mob spawning rules. I might have to end up adding a mod to help with that, um, but I'm not sure that I will. I'm not sure that I will, because I think since I have, uh, since I already have um, the, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, the, the one, the one from, uh, dang it. Uh, Ender Zoo. Since I already have Ender Zoo, it provides a method of tweaking the spawns of everything. So I might just try to see if I can't use Ender Zoo to do most of the mod tweak or most of the spawn tweaking. Uh, and and if that'll work, that'll work. Excellent. Uh, but the other one that I was thinking about is uh, like that that one. I forget if it's scaling health or scaling something. 
or if it's onslaught there's there's a mod that allows you to uh to make it so that the further you go from the spawn area the more difficult things get or the more mob spawn um and and that would be another one that i would really like to see uh or something i would like to have happen like the further away you go from the spawn area the more challenging it gets but yeah these these weapons right here these weapons right here really good for taking out all these uh, hatons and stuff Uh, yeah, the rifles definitely make the uh, the mobs considerably, or the ranged mobs considerably easier to deal with. Um, I should go find an Aton and kill it with my yo-yo. There's one over there. Now the problem is you get you get close enough to them that they actually start shooting at you with the yo-yo. But yeah, you can see, take it out with the yo-yo, not too hard. And. Uh, the, the really awesome thing about the yo-yo is it just kind of follows your cursor and, and you know, whatever you're pointing at, it'll, it'll hit. Uh, sometimes though, it'll get behind the mob and then you have to pull it back in order to actually hit the mob that you're trying to kill. I see a, I see a blip. It must be underground. Uh, Atons keep, 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 typically run away from them. Uh, yeah, if you don't have any armor, they really do hurt. They hurt a lot. But I wanted some more ranged. I wanted a bunch more ranged options because I mean it's the, you know, it's a future tech kind of pack. There should be a ton of ranged options, like including, uh, you know, long range rifles with scopes. But ooh, yeah, you didn't even know I hit him. Oh, oh, you guys, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. Watch me kill this pig. Let me get real close. Ah, he moved. Ah, that one didn't do it. Hang on. Doesn't do it every time. Depends on if it depends on how much damage you do. Oh, come on. Getting a little bit of lag right now, uh, to the server. But... Oh no, come on, give me a good shot here. Ah. Dang it. Didn't get any really good over overkills. You gotta get like an overkill um for it to do it. Hang on, let me come over here. There's some more stuff over here. Is that, uh, oh, there's a sheep. There's, those are even more fun to shoot at. Boom! <laughs> there was an overkill. <laughs> Maybe pigs just don't do it, I don't know. But definitely sheep do. <laughs> hey there, Ice. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, they do have, uh, the Atons do have a kind of Rapid fire. See, it doesn't do it every time, but... Reload! Yeah, I mean, you don't get that overkill shot every time. It also helps if you hit him in the head, I think. Goodbye, sheep! Dirty deeds done with sheep. Bye! Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I hit him. No, I hit him. <laughs> yeah, my, maybe just on the crits. Maybe it just happens on the crits. Uh, it only does it with like the vanilla mobs. It doesn't do it with any of the modded mobs that I've that I've seen anyway. Um, but yeah, like the sheep. Uh, I've seen squids blow up. I've seen uh, horses and cows blow up. And if you get like the big. If you get the big weapons, like the big explosive weapons, then yeah, definitely will will make a difference. Boom! <laughs> but it is it's kind of awesome. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. And then okay, we'll we'll kill him with the yo-yo. Yo-yo. Yo yo yo, yo the sheep. My dinner? My dinner? Alright. So this might end up being a kind of well, you know, kind of short mo a short stream, or it might just be that I take a few minutes to eat my dinner and then come back. But uh, may may maybe Whisper will come on and, and entertain you guys for a minute. <laughs> we need to get some rocketry done. Actually, we need to actually build the rocket and upgrade the uh, the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it is actually Minecraft, sort of. 
It's um, a little bit, uh, what was somebody was saying earlier, it was like Half-Life, uh, like the Half-Life stuff. There we go. Blow up some squid. This gun is really good though. I mean, this is one of the more advanced guns, so this is not something you could have like really early game. Uh, it requires some steel, some uh, stuff, and yes, it's super satisfying to blow up the mobs. Um, there's another gun that I really want to make. It's called the TFG, and unfortunately, in order to do so, we got to go over to the Nether and kill some stuff. Um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of torn between whether I should go to the Nether and look for cyber demons, or if we should head to space. I'm also thinking that I should make it so that cyber demons spawn on hot planets, because that would be cool. And uh, the other thing is, is there's supposed to be cyber zombies now? Because that's the other mod that was added. Um, one of the other mods that was added is uh, the port of Cyberware called Robotic Parts. Um, robo uh, robot, robot, robot. Oh, I guess it would be called Cyber. I see why, because it's a port, so it's still Cyber, Cyberware. Um, in fact, I should be able to craft the Robo Surgeon. Oh, this has to be not too terrible. I, I will. I will eventually be tweaking that recipe. You can be sure that that's going to get tweaked um, to require at least some kind of circuit. Uh, probably an advanced circuit, at least. Space. Yes, demons. Uh, they're not just regular demons. They're cyber demons. They drop cybernetics. Um, so yeah, that would really f be fit. I think that would really fit in uh, space uh, uh, for space exploration. I think that would be perfect. All right, guys. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take about uh, a few minute break here, uh, throw some food in my mouth, and then I will be right back to it. But uh, gosh, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I wish I wish someone else would come on and, and uh, entertain. But uh, we won't be too long. It won't be too long. I'm just going to step away for a minute.
All right, folks, I'm back. Oh, did the music stop? Interesting. Oh, no, there it goes. The crackling noise, yes, the crackling noise is the nuclear reactor that we got in the basement. Woohoo! If there's still people here watching, I hope I didn't leave you guys hanging too long. Stuffed my face with some chicken and came back. <laughs> yeah, nuclear reactor. That's another thing that we kind of need to get done today. Is uh, need to upgrade this reactor even bigger yet. But uh, not the highest on the priority list. We got two priorities for today. We want to uh, go visit space, and then we want to also. Um, go to the nether and find some cyber demons. You're welcome to join the server too, Twitchy, if you just want to get on and, like, you know, hang out. And you should have the information. Also, welcome to join me in chat too. <laughs> there we go. Whispers in the whispers in the house. Hello, hello, hello. I am currently updating the pack and I'm about to join you shortly. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I'm really excited about these couple new mods that I just added. They're uh, really good models. I'm actually reading up on it. I'm familiar with cyberware. You need to kill cyber zombies. But the we wired the add-on for robotic parts. That's actually fascinating. And you got my attention with the yo-yo of yours. Yeah, I love the yo-yos. I mean, after I played with that a little bit in uh, in uh, Forever Stranded, I'm like, oh yes, this has got to go in my pack too. <laughs> Which Forever Stranded are we talking about? Because I played the original and I played the Hurt edition, but not yet Lost Souls. It was it's in Lost Souls, and it is it was just added to Lost Souls as well. It was not in Ooh. like a couple updates ago. So, yeah, as soon as he added that and I played with it, I'm like, oh, yeah, got to have that. Um, but I think the easiest thing is probably going to be to upgrade the uh, suit that we have here. Of course, we're going to need to make probably another suit if there's more than one person going. Of course, only one person can ride a yeah. rocket, so. Well, actually, I just saw a Forever Stranded series with a, a group and it was the, a team of three, and basically they just simply launched the rockets from the same pad. They just took turns. Yeah. And then in the end, on their space station, they had three rockets stacked on top of each other. Yep. And they used that to go to other planets. Yeah, that's what I've done on uh, when when we did it on um the other server, Colonial Engineers. When uh, when oh, I yeah. when I wanted to take somebody else to another planet, we just sent I, I rode a rocket up, and then uh, they rode a rocket up, and then we we warped to another planet, and then we both rode down. And, but yeah, when you end up up there, the rockets end up just stacking up on top of each other. And I think there's currently a bug with the uh, launching pads that you can't actually select them, like where you like if you have multiple landing pads on your space station. Yes, that is correct. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. You know, the other thing is, is I might want to switch my legs out permanently. I mean, I love the Tough Ally. It's really good armor. And it looks cool. It's black. Everything looks cool in black. But mm -hmm. there's those add-ons for the, uh, for the uh, spacesuit, the Advanced Rocketry spacesuit that lets you put the bionic parts in your legs. And man, I'll tell you what, that is an intense intense an intense um, speed into increase like ludicrous practically hey twitchy's on awesome come on in come on in make yourself at home grab whatever you need craft whatever you want um, 
if you run out of an ore, if you run out of a particular type of metal or whatever, just uh, grab a stack of ore, take it down, put it in the processing machine or processing setup we got up going downstairs now. Um, in the process of kind of moving things around, although this is a beta server, it's going to get wiped probably within the next 7 to 14 days. And uh, that's that's provided I can get that those couple tweaks that I talked about. I want to make sure that I get mob spawning tweaked out pretty good, and I want to um, get uh, a few quests in at least a, like a basic uh, framework of quests in. Uh, there's a there's a spare set of bronze armor in here. If you just need, if you just need a set of armor to uh, to wear, that would probably work. Bronze armor is actually pretty good. Um, there's a couple of variants of it. If that's the mechanism variant, it's actually the best variant of it. Uh, I can't. No, it's IC2. Okay, well, it's still pretty good, though. It's not the best variant, though. Close. Close. Um, all in all, I'd say the, the packs come together pretty rel relatively quick. What are we at? Like three weeks since I initially started creating it? Maybe? About? Um, so yeah, I think it's come around pretty fast. Oh, I still got some plastic sheets. Those are actually parts for gun. If you want to make a gun or some stuff like that, the materials over here, there's a metal press, uh, the chemical laboratory, and then the ammo press for making the different kinds of ammo. Oh, in fact, let me grab those rifle rounds. Those can, those can go in my spare inventory in here. All right, so. Uh, let me think here. Yeah, I would love to do with some cyber, some cyberware, but again, the problem with that right now is the fact that cyber zombies are really hard to find. Really hard to find. What's what's Twitchy saying here? Hang on. Noob it up in a hole. Find the early game. Hey, no worries. No worries. Uh, and that's actually a, a great way to experience a pack. You know, you really want to get an idea of what it's going to be like. Uh, oh shoot, thank you, thank you. I didn't realize I was still on the holdings. Dang it. I always forget to do that. Bus I always did. forget to do that whenever I, uh, whenever I come back. Well, not always, but sometimes. Yeah, I, I just opened a, a new window and I was looking at the stream and I'm like, you said do you still be right back? <laughs> I will be right, I'm not quite here. I'm not, I'm never all the way here, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we fixed it, Nathan. It should be fixed now. Uh, do make yourself a yo-yo twitchy before you leave, because, you know, you'll want a yo-yo. Everybody wants a yo-yo. Yeah. That's, and you, yo you will need a little bit of ranged combat in order to deal with the, uh, the, si the, uh, the atons. Atons are nasty if you don't uh, have some kind of ranged or decent armor. And or, and or, because it's more it's more of an and than it is an or. Because even with decent armor, you try to take them on with a stone sword, it's just not happening. <laughs> if you happen to have a brass sword, that's like the best, the best. Um, but you have to kill clockwork, clockwork droids, in order to get the brass gears and stuff, in order to make a, bra a brass sword. But they are totally uh. They're totally overpowered, especially when it comes to the the Dalek mod mobs. So yeah, there's that. All right, uh, let's let's think about what was I about to do here? Yeah, I was saying this cyber cyberware is going to be kind of hard to get into until I increase the uh, woo -hoo, nice. Everybody got their yo 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 yo. <laughs> <laughs> Walk the dog. I can actually do quite a few tricks. There's this one where you flip it out and you do around the world and then you t uh, twerk your wrist in a certain way and it comes back to you. Yeah. You have to have a proper area. Uh, there's some string over here. Um, yeah, right here. Very top left. There's string. If you uh, if you're looking for it on the drawer system. Yeah. 
and we have a spider spawner and down in the cave network if uh, if, if you want to do it the hard way <laughs> Yep. Oh, there you go. Whisper Spire. Give you the... Yo, yo. No, actually, uh, they would if uh, PvP is on. PvP is off, so I can smack people in the head with a yo-yo. It doesn't hurt them at all. I can I can shoot people in the skull. No effect. <laughs> That's... Uh, Dornell hates playing with uh, PvP on. So, and Dornell is the one that's actually hosting the server, even though he's not here right now. He's had a, uh, some family family tragedy he's had to go deal with uh, one of his relatives passed away so he won't be back for a week or so so fortunately he did leave me the information so that i can connect and fix the server if i need to or restart it update it and all that fun stuff so we're going to continue on with the testing and stuff um oh yeah i was about to check into what it takes to make the upgrades for the spacesuit that's the main thing i wanted to do Probably ought to just go ahead and make another spacesuit, especially if more than one person is going to be out in space at the same time. Advanced rocketry. There we go. I assume that you want a launch pad, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll need a launch pad. Uh, just a three by three is fine. We're not. We're going to make the most basic ones. Although we probably how tall? Uh, just the minimum height. I think. What is it? Seven or eight? Probably seven or eight is more than enough. Especially if we make a advanced engine. Can we make the advanced? We should be able to make the advanced engine. Uh, in fact, let's let's check. It's just titanium iridium alloy and titanium aluminum aluminide or alloy. So I bet I can do both of those in. Um, there's the iridium. I bet I can do both of those in the uh, thing. You know, the thing with the thing. What is it? Which one's the titanium? That's nickel. Oh, the, the purple stuff's the titanium. There we go. Um, in the alloy smelter from Nuclear Craft, I bet. No, I cannot. Interesting. Okay, so where we got to do this at? Oh, is that something we're going to have to do the, the blast furnace for? That's going to suck. I wanted to like, completely eliminate the necess necessity for that. Ugh. Ugh. Can I make the dust? No. Ugh. Just shoot. No. Well, um. You know what? I don't think I actually do want to completely eliminate the necessity for that then, because that I do want to eliminate the necessity for the ele the big electric arc furnace for the early game of rocketry. But maybe I'll leave it necessary for like the the advanced like like this like the advanced engines so I guess we're gonna just use regular engines uh, steel and titanium plates those I can definitely do so let's get some titanium we got we should have plenty of titanium um, in fact we'll we'll make 16 titanium plates and that will give us at least four engines uh, and then steel is the other component we should have plenty of steel oh why do we not have plenty of steel oh there it is okay uh, I wonder if I should make some more steel. Uh, we've got plenty of iron. That's that's good. We've got the infuser up here. Let's grab some coal. Actually, we can use charcoal for this. So we we'll use char uh, or not? Since we're actually low on charcoal, we're actually out of charcoal. Oh, um, the other thing I need is the. Let's go down. See, I want I want to make sure I use the enricher on the uh, coal so I can get more uses out of it. So we'll come down here to the enrichment factory, basic enrichment factory. We'll do a stack of this stuff. Now normally this machine would automatically eject over to the smelting factory, but this is not a valid thing in the smelting factory, so it'll stay right here. Thankfully, I don't have to chase it down or change any settings. There we go. Bunch of carbon that we now use to. Uh, well, you, did you like your door, by the way? Did you see the door that I made for the advanced rocketry area? Oh yeah. I thought it could use a super high tech door. Or high tech looking anyway. Actually, not that expensive to make or anything. 
Let's uh, throw 16 of those in. I don't know if that's going to do the whole stack or not. I got an all-important question for you. What's that? Where do you want the launch pad? Hmm. Uh, probably out just past the peat. Yeah, just out here past the peat. Peat bog. Yeah, put it on the other side of the bog. Then it'll be just like the actual one in Florida. Surrounded by swamp. <laughs> Amen to that. I've actually been there several times. That's where I live. Awesome. Yeah, that's a cool place to visit. You really see the scale of it. I mean, nobody really... I mean, you see the pictures and you see the little tiny people beside them and stuff, but you really don't feel the scale of it until you're, like, standing right there. We're going to need more steel. Yeah, I'm actually in the middle of processing some of that right now. I've got, I've got some, I got all the steel that we currently have in my inventory, I think, or most of it anyway, but I'm processing more as we speak. Yeah, I might have to do some more tweaking to the galaxy uh, file as well if I want to, uh, if I want to have like crazy amounts of cyber demons and things spawn on other, on certain planets. Because it'll probably be specific planets, um, where they spawn. I think they're, I think that those are, I think that's the thing that I can do. Yeah, well, there, there we go. A a process and a stack of steel now in the furnace. And that should be ready to go soon. And then you're building the launch pad, so I'll make the actual rocket parts. So I need the titanium cool. plates. get uh yeah sure why not five engines i made it eight tall so it's actually going to be seven because it has to be the same y level yeah yeah that sounds about right and i think that's the minimum height for it too because it won't work unless it's like at least seven or eight tall i'm pretty sure I've I've tried making it shorter before and it just doesn't it doesn't it doesn't recognize it. I made one three tall. I was experimenting. Well, the rocket can be, but the but the the thing the the tower does it work when it's only three tall? I wouldn't think so. I could have sworn it if had it's to be. a satellite. Oh, if it's a satellite. Maybe okay. Satellite assembler possibly yeah. Okay, the next thing we're gonna need is a bunch of tanks. A whole bunch of tanks. Okay, so steel plates? Steel plates. I made titanium plates, okay. Well, I have a titanium plate left over. So if I do, how many tanks do you suppose we'll need? We'll need at least, I'm thinking four will get you up to space. You know what? In order to go to another planet, we're gonna need to make a warp, warp ship. Except to the moon. Well, yeah, but you, who wants to go to the moon? <laughs> I do. That's where you get the lithium so that you oh. can go. Uh, well, we technically have a bunch of lithium, but the thing we need from the moon, though, is... Um... Asteroids. Or me meteorites, not asteroids. Meteorites. Asteroids would be the ones that are sailing in space. Meteorites the ones that have landed on a body. Uh, yeah, there's we, we can find meteorites on the moon and then get our stuff for applied energistics. I believe, if if I set if I set things up correctly, <laughs> hopefully I have. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and compress all that steel into plates. Why not? We got more cooking. You know what? And while I'm cooking more, I will cook even more yet by throwing some more iron in here and. Tossing another 16 compressed carbon into there. There we go. That'll work. Yes, we can also get cheese while we're on the moon, too. 
Ha ha ha. Ha ha. No. You're thinking of Galacticraft. <laughs> it's the one with the cheesy moon. Yeah. At least you won't be overwhelmed with mobs. I would be okay with mobs on the moon. But yeah, the Galacticraft planets do have a lot of mobs on them, don't they? Well, actually, Galacticraft itself goes all the way to Mercury. Extra Planets, which is the add-on by um, MJR Legends, he does it all the way out past the Kepler belt. Nice. I wish they, uh, I wish they made an app. I, I wish somebody made a really good config file for advanced rocketry that that did better than one. I mean, I, I tried. I mean, don't get me wrong. I tried to represent the uh, our, our solar system reasonably well. And if you want to check that, hey, guys, I actually is Twitchy still around? Oh, he already took off. I was gonna say if you want to actually check out the solar system, there's a planet selector back here in the corner that you can use to look at the solar system. Um, and the and the different stars. Although I will tell you that on the server does not have the galaxy update that changes Proxima Centauri to a red giant because it, it's per world and I'd have to like either respawn the world or or things. Yeah, uh, the, yes, the, the builder from RF Tools it works as a Cori. There's also the mechanism uh, digital miner, so that's even better than a Cori. Because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't even bother with all the cobblestone and stuff like that. It just uh, pulls only the ores that you specifically ask for. But if you look in here and look at the uh, solar system of Sol, this is the Sol solar system. Uh, Proxima Centauri is actually where Overworld is at. Uh, we would like to go to not Mercury. Uh, where is? I think Venus is here. Venus is there. We want to go to Earth because Earth is the uh, Lost Cities dimension. And that is going to have all kinds of loot and mobs and fun stuff to shoot and kill and die die over and get killed by, I should say. <laughs> fun things to kill and get killed by. <laughs> uh, in fact, that's something I probably need to tweak a bit to make sure that it has some of the other mobs in it now. Because yeah, maybe uh, cyber demons and things like that should spawn there as well, as haunted mobs with extra hit points. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Um, what was the other thing I needed for the tanks? Um, steel rods. Okay. Rods of steel. I think that's just a matter of doing this. No, not that easy. Uh, that? Yes, that's, that is it. Uh, 16, I'm gonna need twice as many as I have. Oop. Oh, I just need a whole stack, basically. That way I can make all the tanks. Here we go, 16 tanks. Nice. Um... And that might, uh, you know, between that and the, uh, make one more engine. That way I can make two rockets with the same amount of engines. What we might want to do is make a uh, space station assembly machine too to put on the same pad and just send up a three by three block pad and then build the space station in space that's the way i prefer to do it i mean i know it's kind of cheesy but 
Um, the things that connect the different parts are expensive. For uh, and then and then you lose them. Ah, uh, do I have the stream badly named again? What? Adam Smasher Beta Play Stream Two. Oh yeah, it's definitely not Stream Two. What is it like Stream Four? <laughs> Minecraft modded Adam Smasher. What, what's wrong with that? <laughs> hey Dornell, how you doing? This is a little impromptu of a stream, actually. I just kind of like I'm gonna stream. And, you know, wasn't exactly planned out very well. Is it number three? Oh, okay. Let me fix that. Because where it was four. All right, number <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. I just ran away from one. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you have two steel plates? Uh, no, actually. I don't. I tossed a bunch of it in your inventory. Yay. Which should give me enough to make another engine? Yes. We go. Now I have an even number of, or uh, yeah, an even number of engines. Let me get the chat open again here. I lost the window. There we go. Ah, yep. Let me fix that. Hey, train. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Other than uh, dying, dying, uh, dying horribly. Yeah, those things are outside the base. <laughs> are they right outside? Mm-hmm. Well, you gotta do I'm like, what's in your hand? A gravestone. Where is it at? Oh, I, mm -hmm. I see it. I see it. Mm-hmm. He's dead. That one is, anyway. Someone has guns now. Yes. <laughs> I has guns. Now we gotta wire power to this station. I'm thinking maybe just making a uh, power cell over to there because it will will hold quite a lot. I mean, and the, the station doesn't really take that much power, to be honest. That's something I thought about tweaking uh, later, at least. Maybe I haven't done it yet, but uh, is making all the uh, advanced rocketry stuff like take a lot more power than it currently does because it's very low on power requirements. I missed, by the way. Uh, not too much. Advanced, advanced rocketry stuff. Um. Oh, by Goodness. the way, if you need circuits with advanced rocketry, there's a back, there's a, a stock back here. What do they call energy? Oh, did you? There we go. Basic energy. Power armor comes from. That is, uh, that was creatively made, but I just wanted it there so I could show show it. It looks cool. Don't use it because it's it's not legit. <laughs> I know, I know. It looks cool though. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, yes, How's the machine working out. It has two different kinds of sentry guns. Actually, it has um, the machines working out pretty good. Uh, in fact, the uh, the burning the uh, the fuel burning thing works way 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 better than the electric heaters. Way better. Huh? This thing over here, the fuel wood heater. This fuel wood heater is like four times more efficient than those four electric heaters all by itself. And I upgraded the uh, thermodynamic uh, conductors, uh, but right now, like if you th like right now, the uh, thing is all backed up anyway. So um, I believe the only I believe the thing that is missing. Well, this needs to have water oh. to it, but um, I'll get ores to process. This thing just can keep going because I have it set to dump excess on both things. Uh, what I really need it to dump excess on is only the. Oxygen. Really low on in storage. So that one actually needs to be idle. There we go. And what's that? All right. 
Asking what we're low on. Um, I'm not sure. Steel, probably. Hey, Teddy! Nice! Haven't seen you on one of my streams in a while, bud. How you doing? Oh! Hi, stream! God, I sound like crap. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sound like you ate a frog. Yeah, my throat's dry. Uh, where did this come from? Efficiency one book. I need to get rid of that. I need to steal someone's configurator. How did we get... Oh, piston rounds in there. Interesting. Piston rounds in the cookie jar. <laughs> look at the, uh... <laughs> look at the, uh... Look at the sign. It says I put them in there. It's like, <laughs> your ammo's in the jar. <laughs> ammo in jar, yeah. Well, it's a swear jar. Alright, well... Yeah, yeah, we're, we'll, yeah, this Wednesday, not doing Astroneer. That is something that, uh, that needs to be stated. Although, uh, Astroneer is pretty, pretty, uh, hit and miss. But that's okay. It, so are the updates to Astroneer. <laughs> so, but, uh, I will kind of miss it because I'm having fun in that new update. Um, what else do we need? We got rockets. We're going to need a, uh... Hmm. Hey, Lan, come down here for a minute. Uh, okay. What's up? The machine isn't processing all three uh, slots of the clubs at once. Yeah, because there's not enough power for one, and there's not enough. Oh, power. the power's. Oh, okay. I yeah, see now. Yeah, there's. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was one of the things I've said a few times is the the <laughs> nuclear reactor is now obsolete again. We need to upgrade it. It's even bigger. It needs to be even bigger. Sorry. But, uh, okay, next thing is a guidance guidance system. That's the next thing I gotta, I gotta make. Gotta make. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. So, Ender. Oh, no! How many eyes have Ender? How many Ender? Ah, we have zero. Ah. Urgh. <laughs> should probably start upgrading the reactor again. Well, I guess we ain't going to space or sending anything to space. Dang it. Because What's we, up? we have no ender pearls, zero ender pearls. Oh no! And I have yet to see an enderman spawn in the overworld. So the only reason we had a ender pearl the other day is because Dornell found it in a gravestone. Hmm. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Again, I think that has to do with the whole uh, Darlock mod overtaking all the other spawns. Mm-hmm. Well, in that case... Well, all the launch pad needs is power, and that's it. It's got fuel. Hmm. Uh, yeah, all we really need to do is, um... What does it take, uh... Thing. Um, make the guidance thing. But the problem with the guidance computer is it requires four tracking circuits. Each tracking circuit requires an eye of ender. The rest of the stuff is not bad. It's a advanced, uh, you know, basic circuit plate. That's not too difficult. We could do that. The problem is, is the eye of Ender. Ah, that is so terrible. It's kind of, it's kind of sucky that it even requires eyes of Ender too, because that's not very technological. That's more like a magical thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, man. That, 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 uh, you know what, I'm gonna go to the, I think I'm gonna go to the nether instead and hunt cyber demons because there's no way I'm gonna, no way I'm gonna be able to find, uh, Enderman. I've, I've tried. I, like, went all over the world looking for Enderman, and it sucks. It sucks that I can't find him, but let's go see if we can find a cyber demon. I would suggest I could work on upgrading the reactor, but I don't want to break it. <laughs> Well, you know, it's a, it's a beta world, so it's not too big of a deal. Uh, the main thing would be just to make sure that uh, you don't need the power at the moment that you're trying to do the upgrade, because <laughs> that would uh, that would make things a little. Yeah. Any tips? 
Uh, other than what I've already covered with it? Ah. Okay. I mean, blaze rods are not bad, but actually... Whoa. Reload, reload. Nice. Took him out. All right, cyber demons. I see a... Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what they look like or where to find them, but we're just going to go look them. And I see a fortress over that way, so that might be a good place to start. Or add the ender pearl drops to some other mobs. We, yeah, I think, like I said, I think it has to do with um, the Dalek mod, like kind of overtaking the spawn table a little bit with its with its. Uh, with its one mob. I mean, it's just the one mob, too. Because the Dalek mod adds a ton of mobs, but I almost never see any of them except for the uh, Atons. I mean, you see lots of Atons, but you don't see hardly anything else. Uh, I guess the only other ones that I do see uh, uh, on regular basis is Adipose, but only if you're in a jungle. And you'd have to be a really serious Doctor Who fan to know what those are, I suppose. All right. Now I'm hoping that before I do my next update, Cyclic will get its uh, next update out, and that will include uh, modded Nether Ores. Ha <laughs> ha! That's gonna be so awesome. I heard, I heard some. Is the reactor running? Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's been running. I'm not hearing the little, you know, crackling sound. Oh, well, maybe somebody broke it. It's not out of fuel, is it? It shouldn't be. No, it's got 20 cells. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, uh, all the cur all the textures in my pack are actually courtesy of uh, Sortex. So if you like the textures, it's Sortex that's doing that. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Grab all that stuff. Cyber demons, where are you at? Except for the tech gun stuff, that's actually mod textures that's added by the mod itself. They're pretty high quality models and textures. I, I really like it. Really like it. Have I mentioned I really like this mod? <laughs> mm. I feel like there should be some cyber demons in the fortress, but I'm not finding anything yet. I bet they're like in their own little, um, in their own little forts or something somewhere. And I'm just gonna have to find them. Did I, did I check this one? Oh, that's a new one. Ooh, nice. Nice! Heart container! Nom 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 nom. Yay! I got extra life. Um, actually I want bobbles because that can go with my bobbles. I wonder if these things can go with my bobbles. I never checked. Does that go with my bobbles? Oh, it does! Nice. Charms go on your next slot. What are you making, Whisper? That's awesome. A gun. Everybody wants a gun. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> oh, dang it. Let me out, let me out. Oh, you know what else is really awesome uh, to make? I'm not sure how early game it is, but the, uh, the, the mining charges are pretty cool. Whoa, hello. Reload, reload, reload. Two forty two or two forty one oxide. Ooh. 
Huh. Oh, that was cool. I never seen one. I can make us a stronger fuel with some of the plutonium we have. Oh, what is this? Oh, I found a robo surgeon. Nice. I don't have to craft one now. Hmm. Yes, but the problem is, is anything. Uh, we we you could throw the oxide fuel in there if you want because that'll produce quite a lot more power. Uh, but if you yeah. get much higher than that, you're not gonna have enough cooling, and and then the reactor will melt down. Yeah, I didn't exactly mean to kill the. I didn't exactly mean to shoot at the pigmen, but uh, you know it was too late, and you know mm -hmm. they didn't stand a chance anyway. So. <laughs> Spawner finder. Ugh, I'm out of inventory space. I can fix that real quick. Do, 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 do. Don't need that. Antidote charm. I actually want to keep out. I you know, only need one of them out. Uh, don't need that. That. I've already. I'm already got a fire charm on my neck. My yo-yo should actually be on my bar. That I don't need. That can be put away. That can be put away. There we go. Cleaned up my inventory. Uh, spawner finder would actually be nice, but not. I don't need it right now because I'm not looking for a spawner. I'm looking for a fortress of the. Yeah, here we go. I can get out. Hours off. If he's if he's modifying the reactor, it's going to go off every time he he makes modifications to. It. Ooh, what was that noise? Whoa! What was that noise? All I did was try to put the oxide fuel on, but I guess it has to run through the process of the model one. The, the oxide... Well, yeah, it has to run through the one that it currently has uh, before the oxide the oxide one will get yeah. loaded. Um, yeah. I love these mushroom biomes. With the little bitty mushrooms. Look at it. It's so cute. Little red mongus. Mm -hmm. Oh, little red mongus. Come here, little red mongus. Makes cool noises, too. Oh, hello, Mr. Mr. Fungus Creeper thing. Buggers. Oh, these things. Shoot those things. Get them out of here. Man, I'm not even sure where to look for the fortress thing that I'm looking for, to be honest. Now, I should be okay if I dip into lava a little bit because I have a fire charm and... Actually, I have two fire charms. I've got a uh, fire charm and a lava charm. So I think I'm okay. <laughs> I think I'll be okay even if I dip my feet in the lava just a little bit on accident. Hello, Mr... What is that thing called? Ah, 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 don't stand on the magma blocks. Salamanders. There's some salamanders. There's, there's actually like, I think, two different color salamanders too. Turn hover mode on here, it'll be a little bit easier. Ah! Okay, not that way. Can we get through here? Yeah. Ooh, I'm burning, I'm burning. A little bit. It's not it doesn't hurt that bad. <laughs> so it doesn't hurt at all with those those charms, thankfully. Hmm. Oh! Uh. I was able to increase the output by 400 RF tick by just putting another reactor core in, and it's still doing negative heat down generation. Yeah, with the standard fuel, but if you switch to the oxidized fuel, it'll be over the amount of heat. Yeah, sure. So if you're going to keep the regular fuel in, that's fine, but if you're going to to uh, increase that... Yeah, I'm going to start looking at adding some more cooling in. Ah! Okay, well, I don't... I want to go through there. I can't go through there, though. Those fungus make some funny noises. Maybe if I go up through here, I can get around? No. Where are you at, cyber demons? So the reason I want the cyber demons is if once I find the cyber demons, they drop cybernetics uh, from from the tech mod or the tech tech gun mod and those will allow me to craft the uh, the multi-block crafting device from that mod and then make some really cool stuff oh no it's a circle I went in a circle dang it okay it's time to use the excavator let's uh, get into 
Hey, what? Tech on step assist. No, 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 no. Hang on. We've gotta gotta change some controls here, apparently. Uh, tech gun, tech gun, where's it at? V needs to not be set to that. Done, done. Now V should, there we go, that's the shape, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. So we can do uh, a nice long tunnel. Zip! Get through that gold. Now we gotta get through this. Some diamonds there. Hey, actually, I will take those. So I take the diamonds. Yes, get the diamonds. Uh, -huh. uh the the all mobs have a chance of spawning with mechanism armor is basically what what you're seeing. I think that's the uh, the funny mobs. Oh, hello! Fungus creeper thing. Alright, we're out again into the wild wild red yonder. Mm. Love these giant mushroom areas. Those are really cool, in my opinion. I wish there was a Sortex... Uh, uh, textures for these for that for that add-on though the only thing that makes me sad hey train what happened to the power I put the fuel cells back in the problem with when you take down the power all the mechanism machines have like huge um, internal inventories of, of power inter internal storage so yeah when the power goes out and comes back on it takes a while for them all to charge up and they, certain machines may not get the priority that you want them to get until everything's full if, especially if like the ore processing was running when the power went out <laughs> yeah I'm gonna cut that off Instead of breaking the, the cable, you should put a switch on it and uh, set it to have redstone. I'm not. I'm just telling them to have a higher up redstone priority. Oh. I'm not seeing anything yet. So, what primary cooling devices do you want to use in this reactor? Just glowstone lapis and the moderators? Uh, glowstone lapis and magnesium. Okay. Is the main ones I was thinking about using. I would love to... I, what I would like to do is like make the reactor right now. It's like a four by four internally. I think mm -hmm. I would like to make the reactor seven by seven internally, and then have a bunch of space for cooling. Because there's a particular, there is a very particular um, layout that you can use that gives you like super high efficiency, but you need a lot of space. You need a lot of space um, to lay it out and. And it would be like... There's a lot of reactor casing. Yes. There, there should be some extra, but I don't know if there's enough extra. Ooh. There's a lot of also basic plate as well. Ooh. Reload, reload. I'm gonna go mark them. Come on, you little ember things. I hate I hate these things. They're annoying. Hard, so hard to hit them. Ah! Ah, can I kill this with the yo-yo? Yo 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 yo. No, it doesn't work. I should have killed the uh, little thingies with the yo yo, the embers. So far, I haven't seen a single cyber demon. Hmm. Now I know the dialogue mod's not affecting the spawns over here, but I think they're kind of rare, and you have to actually find like, a little right. fortress thing. Uh... Not a not another fortress, but an actual fortress that's added by the tech mod, the tech gun mod. I'm just not finding it. Maybe I need to increase the frequency of them. Is that a... Oh, there's an Enderman. I will take that. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Ender... Ah, oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
straight below me. Yes, and he doesn't dodge the bullets. Yeah! There's one Ender Pearl. I almost want to make like Ender Pearls like a growable resource. <laughs> I'm sure there's a few mods out there that would do that. Except I wouldn't want like like most of those mods add all kinds of other things I don't want. Oh, well, you know what? I take that too. That's actually good ore right there. A little little dimensional ore there. Take that. Oh, and there's some diamonds too. Fuck. Yeah. Di sorry. Hey, now. Yeah. None of that. Hey. I know. Sorry. I. Uh, I did. A, did I just messed up majorly. My bad. Mess up all you want, so, but it's still fudge. Sorry. I'll put a cookie in the swear jar. Dark it. Okay. You make that machine now. Oh, you know what? I need emeralds. I should be getting these emeralds too. Oh, I don't have the right mode on. That's why. I'm like, why am I not getting them all? There we go. Need to have it on noon. There we go. Yikes. Nasty little boogers. Thank you for the swear jar contribution. Yeah, that was a pretty good uh, Enderman explosion. Ah, man, I need more Enderman. That that would work. This, I mean, this is at least this is a place I can hunt Enderman, even if I'm not finding the Cyber Demons. Oh, I'm almost out of gas for my hover thing. I'm gonna have to stop and refuel my pack here in a minute. Let me find a decent spot, maybe up here on the soul sand. Well, that might not be a good spot. I don't know. Yeah, because of those things. Yo, yo, get away, get away. Is that a black salamander? Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's cool looking. I want that for a pet. That is really cool. I wonder what makes him spawn. All right. Let's refill the let's refill the pack here. Whoa, hello, hello. I see incoming. Yo yo. You sound like a frustrated villager. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there is actually a swear jar over in the base. It's a uh, bibliocraft cookie jar. <laughs> this takes a minute. Filling up the filling up the tank. Hey, Landstrider, mm -hmm. as a next project, we need to find the end so that we can get into pearls. Uh huh. I totally agree. The problem is, it takes ender pearls to get there. So I at least need to find enough to find the end. So, you know, maybe that would be the way to... Maybe that's what I should do with the first couple that I find. 
Turn him into Ender Eyes and find the Nether Fortress. Uh, jetpack on? Where'd it go? There it is. Get the yo-yo back on my bar. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, man, I haven't seen a single um, fortress of the, the... A single one of the special fortresses. I think they're... I think they're... I'm not even sure where to look for them, to be honest. Ooh, is that something? Is that something right there? That's something. Ah, uh, the machines are not working. It looks like a giant grave marker. There's another one right down there, too. Ooh, I bet that's what that is, a grave marker. I bet it's going to have some nice treasure in it. Hello? What does what, what that spawn? Oh. <clears throat> slime. Oh, just that's a slime spawner. Nice. With a double chest. Whoa, that is full of stuff. Uh, what do we got? Uh, I need to start putting some things away. This actually goes up in there. Um, the rest of the stuff from here over can go in my inventory. Extra inventory space. Yo, yo, yo. Oh. Got him. Whoa. I love that yo-yo. That's a problem. All right, we got some stuff. Nothing that I particularly needed, but st stuff anyway. What's that? Neuroprene. Nice. Okay. Some cybers on or some uh, cyberware stuff. Uh, there's another one like right down over the hill. I remember seeing. Whoa! He spawned like right on top of my head. These yo-yos are like awesome for taking out magma slimes. <laughs> Like, like one of the best. Ah, oh, come on. Ooh, okay. <laughs> now, can I get, can I please have my treasure? <laughs> please? I went to my treasure. There it is. Huh? Treasure. Dang, then, then things don't care if you're even standing right beside them either. Seems like. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. How you doing? Yeah. Not too bad. Those yo-yos are crazy. Are they awesome? <laughs> it's Holy cow, super dude. Awesome. Seriously, you just throw it out there and, and, and wiggle your... Yep. You around like that? Whack, just whack the heck out of stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. I mean, they're they take a little bit of skill to aim, but like once you get the hang of it, yeah, they're they're, yeah. they're really awesome. Yeah. De definitely seems fairly magical. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit maybe, maybe. <laughs> so de definitely some more tinker's magic going on there. There's no tinkers in this. You, you, even though it's not, yeah, it's not actually tinkers. Ah. Stupid little ember things. <laughs> they drive me nuts. <laughs> I need those uh, emeralds, though. This is a great place to get emeralds now. Uh, since I increased the, the diamond and emerald spawn in the nether, that is, like, really good. Nice. Ow, 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 ow. Why am I taking... Did my did my charm run out of Yes it did. My charm ran out of juice. <laughs> Let's get a new one. Um doo -doo 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 -doo. I should have yeah, that was to say I have a fire charm that should have some charge on it. There we go. We're good now. 
Hey, back off. <laughs> work in here, work in here. I really just want to find some cyber demons, dang it. Get some cyberware drops. Cybernetics. If I can at least get enough cybernetics to craft the initial block, then I can make more cybernetics by myself. I don't, I, I won't need it. What is, why is there, oh, that's pyrite. Okay, I was like, why is there two things of gold? That's actually pyrite. <laughs> or two different blocks that look gold. One's pyrite and one's actually gold. It's fool's gold. Fool's gold, yes. Yeah, I think the yo-yo should definitely go in the magic pack. <laughs> with, with a with, uh, with a high combat and agility, you, you know. With, after, yeah. After seeing it, oh yeah, definitely going to take some high agility to use. Yeah, probably much higher agility than combat even, but. Oh yeah. Totally, definitely. totally would be awesome. And some, some well, possibly some points in magic, possibly some points in some other things, depending on what you can actually do with them. I would have to get in and do thorough testing. Uh, with tinkers, you can really tweak them out you can like have like a really stupidly long cord and like a really long spender duration like i believe the diamond one is the maximum like with the vanilla materials uh, as far as uh spin duration Which makes sense and uh let's see it uh, yeah duration is 20 seconds like after 20 seconds it'll spin down and it'll reel itself back in but oh, wow. in 20 seconds you could do a lot of killing <laughs> yeah yeah you can Come on, where are all of them? Where are one of these fortress things? Clearly I need to up the uh, the spawn rate Military on Military bases things? Oh, that's uh, that's Nether X Nether, isn't it? Yeah, Nether, Nether X. I just, just realized with the spore creepers and everything Spore there. creepers, big mushrooms and stuff. I wanted, I wanted the those Nether spore, to have... Those spore creepers are nasty. Yes, they are. Holy cow. They can get really nasty too. If you don't, uh, of course, they are a good way to farm yeah. experience. If you're, if you are in pack, but yeah, if you're careful with it, yeah, you can. I could definitely see it, you know, being used for something like that. But oh my goodness, the risk of overrun with them. <laughs> yeah, a bit high. Yeah, a bit high. I'm wondering if like the, if I should be looking closer to the lava level for one of these fortresses, or if. Uh... Just looking for regular nether fortresses? No, no, I'm looking for the the uh, um, tech gun fortresses so I can kill some oh. si no, no some then. cyber demons. Not a clue then. Yeah, uh, me neither, because I've never seen one before. I'm not even sure, 100 percent sure what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm guessing that they probably won't spawn in the uh, in the nether X biomes, but I don't know for sure. Don't know for sure. Well, one way to test it out would be to boot, up, boot one up without Nether X in or any other Nether modifying mod and go look and see if you can find them in, in just a vanilla Nether. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think when that I that way you at least have an idea what you're looking for. That looks promising. What is that? I see blue fire. Blue fire sounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, a bunch of blue fire. What the heck? Uh. You just said that, and I started like scanning the screen, and I'm like, oh, wait, no. Right. <laughs> Stream lag. Stream lag. Can't see it yet. What is that? What is Now you just try to troll me, aren't you? What is that? Is that. Oh, yeah, that's a load of blue fire. Holy cow. Look at that. Skeleton spiders. Skeleton spiders! What? <laughs> what? What are they, empty shells? What is that thing? Or are they spiders made out of bones? They're spiders made out of bones. Oh. Huh? Right. Just when I thought I was done collecting nightmare or spider based nightmare fodder. Look at those things. <laughs> And, and whatever that oh. other thing is. And they got... Oh, that is... Oh, God. Yes, they are made out of bones. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, that is so creepy. And they move, like, crazy fast, too. I saw that. 
Okay. Horrible. <laughs> what was that other thing I killed? <laughs> thing of nightmares. Yes, things of nightmares. Yes, for sure. Let's see. Okay, so there's another thing down here by the spiders. Oh, look at that. that what it yeah, was? what is that? What are those things right there? I'm watching it right now. What is that thing? Is that? No idea. An... Oh, no. What, what, what? Hang on. Get closer. A right. A right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right? There's a, mag a magma block floor there. Is that what I'm seeing? Ice. Yep, magma. Frost burned ice. Oh, wow. Well, right at the moment, it's magma. The magma. Oh yeah, that, floor, yeah, right? the magma. And in, in the uh, frozen biomes, and in, in the next. That's a magma block. It's a lot of magma blocks. Yes. White. Oh, white. It's not right. White. Okay. okay yeah. Oh, nasty little buggers they are. Yeah. Usually class as an undead though, so you know things like smite should help with them. Or just shoot them in the head with a bullet. <laughs> That'll work. That too. That too. Yeah. Generally speaking. This seems to be pretty hard to hit. He's just too far away. Also seems pretty stuttery. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely getting a little bit of a little lag, probably because of generation and stuff. But mm -hmm. that blue fire is really cool. Does it freeze you? Um, probably. Ow! 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 Yep. Test testing need be done, sir. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me a frost burn. And it, oh, nice. And it in in the in the fire charm did not help at all. <laughs> oh, I bet it's not normal fire. Yeah, exactly. All right, back into a normal biome here for a minute. Man, I, I still not found a fortress thing. They are kind of rare. I, I, I'm not too surprised that they're out here. I suppose there's probably no config settings for uh, like a biome whitelist for them to spawn in. Um, I don't remember seeing that. I think there is a wait. I might have to check that. It's definitely gonna get tweaked up because I want them to be yeah. a lot more common than this anyway. Yeah, because if because if they're only gonna spawn in the one biome type, you want to spawn want them to spawn almost every time that biome type occurs. Exactly. I'm yeah I'm 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 betting it's probably only spawn in hell biome. A white. Oop, there's a bit of another fortress sticking out there. Those mushrooms are cool looking though. Yeah, I love the mushroom biome. I do like those mushrooms. Did you see the little itty bitty mushrooms that that live in these things? Yes, yes, I've seen the little mushroom guys that live there too. What is? I don't remember. Somebody, it was somebody playing Forever Stranded Lost Souls. I don't remember who it was that ran across some of them. This is just somebody I was watching. Yeah. This looks like just a regular old Nether Fortress, though. So, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. Worth a look just to be sure. Maybe they spawn in the Nether Fortress, kind of similar to. I was hoping that they would spawn in the Nether Fortress, as similar to the, uh, or along with the. Uh... Yeah, like as part of the an additional part of the structure. Yeah. I'm getting pretty good with the aim on this thing. That's for sure. Not even having to use the zoom too much. Nice. Oh, hello. I heard something shooting at me, but I didn't see it. It's up here. Nothing. Nothing. Or if I could just find the cyber demons in the Nether Fortress, that would work. That would be okay. Oh, cyclic building scepter. Nice. 
Ooh. Those are always nice to find. Or nice to have. Yeah, loot chest. Yeah, loot over here is really good. Hmm. Uh, actually, most any kind of sh a loot chest that you find in this pack is usually packed full of stuff because of all the mods that add stuff to the various loot tables. <laughs> oh, there's another another climbing glove. Mm, Savannah Plateau M. Sure, we'll take that one instead. Okay. What in blue blazes? I forgot the problem with the power. <laughs> Somebody removed the lever and the reactor wasn't even on. Well, that's because it's got a thing that sets that. Did you did you move the 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 monitor? No. No. Did you change the monitor? No. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... I had to just I had to, I, I was I unplugged the uh I decided to go ahead and unplug the processing unit from the rest of the network. Did the and the power lines went dark, so I was like, "Wait a second, that means the reactor isn't making power did the, at all." Did the monitor forget to uh, forget that there was a reactor there because you removed you moved the thing? You didn't move the the main no. block, right? No. Uh, no. But you disassembled it and reassembled it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that probably will do it. I'm I'm not I'm guessing. No. Yeah, if you do that, I think you have to go back into the uh, RF monitor and fix it. Ah, uh, all right. Well, that explains a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. It kind of works, but I want to do that. A one by. Let me through. Let me through. Coming through. Coming through. I want to go that way. Ah, broke my pickaxe. No! Ah, oh, man. I don't have any other way to break obsidian, <laughs> I don't think, with me. Or wait, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Do I have a spare pickaxe? Yes! I have a steel pickaxe with me. Nice. Okay, we're good. Continue on. Carry on. Is that what I come out to another fortress? It looks like it. What was that noise? That was a promising noise, but I don't know where it came from. Hmm, I don't know. The big fortress, or this is a well-exposed fortress, I should say. Not necessarily bigger than any other, but... Yet another, another fortress! Man, I just want to find one of these special fortresses. I haven't seen a single nether I haven't seen a single cyber demon yet. I've traveled quite a ways here. Dang it. Ah You know what I for I should have brought with me is some uh some obsidian so I could make a portal to get out of the nether whenever I was ready to get home. Because I don't think I'm going to have an easy way back. Well, that could be problematic. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe. There is a potential. I mean, I haven't seen any fluids yet, though, either. I mean, if I could find a fluid that would turn in, turn make some obsidian, then I could actually just mine that up and then make a thing. I've got a flint and steel. <laughs> mm.
Yeah, it would be any fluid but lava, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm not sure if the Nether X adds anything like that by itself. I'm not sure either. I've never used it before. I've seen hot springs in uh, in the Forever Stranded series, but I don't. Uh, or in the that would be biomes of plenty. Biomes doing of plenty. That. Okay. Same with the quicksand. Quicksand too. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find anything then, because I think that those are the only options that I know of. Unless, no, probably not that either. Where are these stupid things at? Dang it! I've I've traveled uh, a I, considerable ways. I, I also got quite a giggle when I saw the uh, the warning messages now when you're on the roof of the Nether. Huh. Oh, in in uh, Forever Stranded. In, in Lost Souls, yeah. You have entered the death zone. <laughs> you will die. And uh, I wonder why it's 10, 11 minutes and 10 seconds, though. I don't under quite understand that one. Uh, yeah. I mean, it shouldn't take you that long to get out of there. Right? right? <laughs> 670 seconds. So it's not quite what you would think of for, you know, a, a timer for hell. But yeah, well, uh, Maybe he was shooting for a 666. Uh, but that'd be four seconds shorter than the time listed. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. It's uh, uh, yeah. Oh man, I am about to give up on these dang things. I thought for sure I would be able to find some. I mean, I've traveled like a crazy amount in the nether here. What sucks is I have flu powder, but I don't think it works cross-dimensionally. Um, I thought it did. Could try it here in a minute. Uh, I really want to find one of these fortresses. Quick. Random, random, random thing. Uh, okay. Well, here's some of this crazy ice. No, oh, that doesn't work. I was thinking that maybe if I use the frostbit nice, broke it, it would turn into fluid, but it doesn't. Got him! Hmm. Oh, look, there is fluid. There is something other than, uh, what is this? What is that? I don't know, but if I got a bucket, maybe I can pick it up and put it back down? Is that blood? What's hitting me? What, what happened here? Why am I, okay. Look. Well, looking at the random things wiki, it doesn't say anything specifically for or against cross dimension, so... Oh man, that thing completely freezes you when it hits you. Like, you can't move! Like, can't do anything. Get away from me, Bright. White. Oh man, those things are nasty. If they actually hit you, you're, you're completely frozen in place. No! Get away. You can go up and down. There we go. Okay. Now, what is this? It's an Icker basket. Oh, please tell me this will freeze some lava or some lava. We'll try both ways, but uh, I would like to have a backup plan here. All right. It's 
bring some ichor over here. Yes, it will flow. It will. I can place it back down. Now the question is, is it going to make obsidian? It should, right? Like any any liquid that touches lava, right? He's making the the noise. Yeah, but if you're able to place it back down in the nether, then it's not acting as proper water. Oh, it's not. It's acting like lava in the nether. That... Train, I have something for you. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that happens. We'll see how that comes out when it goes. Uh, awesome. But while we're waiting, let me get some flu dust out here. You're on your own for ammo. Okay. And see if this will work. No, go away right. All right, uh, base. Ah, it doesn't work. I was afraid of that. Yeah, the flu dust won't work over here, across dimension anyway. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, what? Who? What? Takes a minute and take a minute and make a TARDIS. A minute. Nah. Somebody has an interesting concept of time. Uh, I can't. I, I can't even TP across dimensions that way. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be legit here. For once. Where are you? The Nether, like way far away. But I just got a bunch of obsidian, so we're good. Make a TARDIS though. That would would be interesting. Um, what the heck is that? Yellow garnet. Okay. Let's get back in the overworld, and then we can teleport back to the base space using the flu powder. Subspace bubble. What? Hey. Nine or what is it, a thousand blocks, something like that, in the Nether. Oh, is some large distance and traveled in the overworld via the Nether. Oh, okay. Never gotten that one before. Works to me though. All right, Let's get my flu powder out. <laughs> what the. <laughs> What the what? Uh, he's out the bean poster, lad. Base! A and all the other fanciness out here, including something I'm jacking as soon as I can figure out how to get into it. Oh, there we go. Oh, did you find the DeLorean? Yep. So long! <laughs> Oh, wait. There we go. Better view. <laughs> yeah, third person view definitely helps. Drop. Not. Uh, that, that, uh, that's. Okay, this is just wrong. How, how can the DeLorean strafe? <laughs> what the heck? It's. Whoa! It's the anti gravity device added in the second series, in the second movie. <laughs> 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 like seriously, this is just It's the reason the wheels don't turn. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh now can I fit it back out through the door that I somehow managed to cram in through? <laughs> Apparently not. Interesting. You gotta get it just right. I I, I guess so, but I mean G 
Come on, get through there. Push. Yeah, it's not going through now. I don't know. I don't know how you got it through there. I don't know how I even got it in the first place. <laughs> There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, another rhyme. Man, I got a bunch of junk. I need, I need, you know what? I just need some chests. Throw all this junk. I do love, like, that super lubricant stone, though. That is, that is some nifty stuff. Yeah, I, I like that. If I, if you had to make a road between two, pla two places that are far apart, that'd be a great way to. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, that can go in there, that can go in there. That's actually an extra one that can go in there. Some more inventory upgrades. If anybody doesn't have an inventory upgrade cake, there's like more. I don't. Uh -huh. Where? There's some in the bottom chest here and there's some in that other chest over there too. And an extra fire charm. What is that sound effect? What the heck? That's when you upgrade your inventory. So weird. Oh, all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Oh my. What are you doing? What? I, I'm looking at the different buttons in my inventory. <laughs> Why do I have a meter for current radioactive contamination? <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I suppose I should be more afraid if it was actually going doing anything. I, uh, yeah. There you go. Was it anything other than zero? I should have been, I should be very afraid, but ammo slots. I'm guessing that's a health pack slot. So what do we got going on around here for food? Bean soup. Bean soup. Beans do. No, I just saw that some, some of that around somewhere. Ah, we had a what do we had a beans? Ah, somebody we need to harvest beans. I just used up the last of the beans. That's what the big uh, that's what the that's what the big guy out here is for, the big kid out here is for. He's he's our, our bean mascot. Guys, I didn't think this through. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. That, that's usually the something that's something that's said before a server crash. <laughs> Oh, she just got stuck. Oh, okay. I say, let's say either a server crash or a death message. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I came to use the charge pad thinking I would charge up my new jetpack. There you go. There's uh, your way out. Whee! <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I didn't think of it. I didn't think of that being back in there either when I put this chest here. <laughs> Now there's beans again. Beans, beans, the marvelous fruit. Musical fruit. Musical fruit. <laughs> You're gonna so, sing the song, sing it right. <laughs> how do you fill this jetpack? Except there are no beans. Uh, hydrogen, uh, here. There, there are no beans in the drawer at all. There are now. Oh, kitchen. Kitchen, got it. Here you go. Which drawer? Because this drawer over here by the rest of the food stuff where the beans are, are, are come, clearly not here. Come to the cooking table and cook yourself some beans too. I see bread. That's it. Well, you don't have any bowls then. <laughs> oh, well. Pshaw. You mean everything's not already here and provided? You gotta make your own kind of services bowls that? not included. <laughs> <laughs> BYOB. Bring your own bowl. 
<laughs> I, <laughs> if I must. Oh, Lan, come down here for a second. Uh, okay. Actually, I need to come downstairs anyway because I think that's where I'm gonna put the robo surgeon. Or do I want it right there beside the door? Nah, down here. Down here somewhere. What's up? Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Well. Yeah, that's big. It's seven by seven by seven. Oh, I, I wasn't actually gonna make it seven tall, but that's okay. That that will that oh. will work. That will work. I thought you said seven by seven by seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just seven by seven was. I, I didn't really right. specify a height, but that's that's fine because I didn't specify a height. <laughs> My bad. Uh, why'd you move the the other thing though? Well, I suppose. That's why I cussed earlier. <laughs> I broke it with a pickaxe, so I had to remake it. You dork! I, you know better than uh, that. I I'm so used to doing it with mechanism machines. I can just break it with a pickaxe, and then I do it with that. It's like ah. Shouldn't I actually? I think there's a setting in mechanism I can set it so that you can't break stuff with a pickaxe. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Evil. Because I don't feel like you should be yeah. able to break any I've machine with a pickaxe. So... I've been building the frame so you could do the. At least internals. without machine loss. Yeah, without machine loss anyway. I mean, you can break it all you want, but you're gonna lose it. <laughs> the next stage is gonna require me to tear down the reactor it's still for a time being but i need to get enough blocks to have a spare backup uh okay so the next thing would be you know the goofy part is is you have a configurator yeah i know why would you ever break anything with a pickaxe if you have a configurator because you can just do it with a single click of the configurator so used to it okay no not okay mm -hmm. You need to get unused yeah. to it. Not working. Break the hobbits. <laughs> I think you're saying break the hobbits. Well, that too. <laughs> uh, make a 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven compact machine and put the reactor in it. That's what Dornell says. The problem with that, Dornell, is you have to be on the outside of the reactor to interact with it. So it'd have to be bigger than seven by seven by seven to hold a seven by seven by seven reactor. It'd have to be nine be by nine eight by eight nine. By eight? Nine. No, there's, there's no. That would work. Yeah. Well, there's no there's no even numbers. You got to do odd numbers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just just because. Um, that's what I need. Surgery chamber, iron door, block. I think. Do we have an iron door here somewhere? Left up. Left over from something else? Yes. So disappointed yeah. in lack of stone sticks. Nah, stone sticks. There's every other kind of stick. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, but I wanted to be able to make nice, convenient torches without having to run back all the way back upstairs and get actual <laughs> sticks. Ha ha ha. No such luck. I noticed. <laughs> Yeah, that's. I definitely don't want it tinkers in this pack. Oh, I understand. Not that I don't. Uh -huh. Not that I don't like tinkers. I I do like tinkers. I just uh, uh -huh. don't want it in this pack. You just you you just have to like get the smeltery controller recipe behind like you know. It's not something like making it take like a uh, like moon dust. Yeah, moon <laughs> dust or you know robot. Oh yep. Yeah. Smeltery controller requires a robot. There you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tier 3 computer core. There you go. <laughs> well, there's a cyber thing, except uh, we don't got any cyber parts yet, unfortunately. And then of course we're gonna, we'll need like the research center and the breakdown, the thing to break them down into the parts and stuff like that. Anyway, if we do uh -huh. find some cyber zombies, yeah, expect an update tomorrow to fix the mob spawning issues because we definitely need a lot more diversity in mobs. 
A lot more diversity in mobs would be good. Yeah. Head off. And I think, yeah, I only found like... I only got I only found like one Enderman the entire time I was over there in the Nether. So we got one Ender Pearl. Ah. Oh. Ah, that's so annoying. You know what? For the sake of beta test. Mm hmm For the sake of beta test. Hey land. Question. About the reactor. Yeah. When we reforge it to a seven by seven by seven, can we move the control block into one of the other corners so we could have a battery cell line going straight up the corner where it sits? Thank you. Um, if you want to do, I don't know why I would want to. It's redundancy, just in case the reactor goes kaput. Uh, what I would like to do is do uh, an induction multi-block. That would be cool. A what? Wait, that please. An induction multi-block. Mm -hmm. huh? It's what is that? It's the big power storage. Power. What mod is it from? Power from my mechanism. Power cells are little, little tiny power storage. I don't know why you want, why you keep not talking about power cells. Power cells are a single block meant to carry with you, just like the uh, just like the tanks. The tanks they're oh. a single block that are meant to be picked up and carried with you. Uh. Using them as a stationary device is kind of silly, in my opinion. If you're gonna make a, if you're gonna you make gonna... power storage, do it right. Why you give me such a thing? <laughs> here, borrow mine to get yours back. It's okay. It's just right out here, out front here somewhere. I was trying to figure out what my hover mode key was and somehow accidentally opened my inventory. <laughs> it, I made jetpacks for the boys. Don't forget free runners. Yeah, yeah. They cancel fall damage. <laughs> it's good to have. Good to have. Mm. Speaking of, I should charge up mine. <laughs> the gas tank is over here. So how do you? So what? So how does an induction casing thing work? It's a freeform multi-block. Uh huh. But what are these the induction cells and providers about? What are those? That's where you. Uh, the uh, the ports are where you take power in and out. Um, the, uh, yeah, it basically, uh, an, uh, the advanced complex, an advanced complex of a coolant system, conductors, transformers, capable of expanding an energized induction matrix, maximum rate energy transfer. And the cells increase their storage? Highly conductive energy capacitor, capable of storing massive amounts of energy in a single block, housed in an energy induction matrix. So that's a yes. Don't ask me. Read the manual. Right. Never done it. I've never found the need for st power storage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you you ask inside. I mean, I just know that they exist. I don't. I've never used them. Yeah. I've never had a need for to use any kind of power storage of of any kind. I'm trying to think if there was any time that I actually did. I think I made a, an uh, an Ender IO battery once. Once. <laughs> I don't even remember why I made it. I think it was after that I realized that it, that it, there's really no point to having any kind of power storage. Because if your power production doesn't keep up with your usage, then you just need a bigger power production. <laughs> and that, and that's pretty much and that's how I've always dealt with it. I'm not if I don't have enough power, then I make a bigger power production. And then I make sure that I have um, systems in place to make sure that the power production doesn't overproduce and waste fuel, which is what the uh, 
RF monitor here is supposed to be doing. How did the RF monitor get turned around? Mm. Is it working? No. I have a lever on it. You, I think I you're wasting power. rotated it when I bopped it with the configurator trying to figure it out. Well, no, no. Dang it. I didn't do it. For reals this time. Well, that would have been why it wasn't working. <laughs> this should drop down to 50% now, then start... Then this should start working. I'm gonna, I gotta keep an eye on it. You could make an ultimate power cell just to be able to pick it up and move it around and power up to certain things that need power. And that's not a bad idea. Kind of what I was also planning on doing. Uh, specifically, so we can bring it out and power up the uh, the launch pad when it's needed. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think what else maybe. Although it's not that far, I could just run a power line out that way. It's not too too terrible. Man, I'm really kind of bummed that I didn't find any cyber demons over there at all. Like that entire time I was over there in the Nether. Uh, we do have. I did. I did make the. Uh, I did make a stack of uh, Ender pearls so that we could uh, at least get the guidance system and stuff for the space program to progress. So they're there, there for you now, Whisper. <laughs> Yay! Because I need steel. Uh, oh, that's not, that's, you, you working on it, or do you? We're low on iron. Yikes. So I'm processing. Oh, you're processing it now? Okay. Hmm. What's up? Uh, it seems my food disappeared when I died. That's weird. Like I had it over in the secondary inventory screen with the little food slots and everything. And oh, I, I I don't know. I think that I think that slot's disabled. Um, like I have to turn it on the config if you want it to work. Not I'm not 100 percent sure about that though. I have to run this thing to no, short first, it, so I don't run out of freaking power. I was able to put the the food in it just fine, but when I died, it seems to have disappeared. Hmm. The only problem I see with this potentially is that the power line should actually be safe. You don't have to move that. It'll sit between the groove that you're standing in now when it's raised. Yeah, but the, uh, the RF monitor is... That's why I suggested moving it into one of the other corners. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I wanted to figure... I need to see if it produces, if it baits a redstone signal off the top. I think it does, but I'm not 100% sure. If I put a piece of redstone on it, it'll tell me. I kind of want to use that power cell as a uh, an intermediate line, basically, from the reactor to the processing room, so the processing room can run max whenever it wants. No, it doesn't put a redstone signal at the top. It only puts a redstone signal at the back of it. All that lead. Uh, so we'll either have to put it out on over on the other side. Well, yeah, we could put it out on this corner. That might work. That would work. That would be okay. Would be acceptable. And it should shut off at 50% now. If, I'm... if I have it set up correctly, or it should like start toggling off and on. Oh, 
Yep, it's working. It's working again. That's good. No point in having this power line in the floor. Alrighty. All right. Uh, do you was you working on the ultimate cell or no? I am. Okay. Uh, did you switch the reactor over to the oxidized? I didn't even notice. No, I still have it in my inventory. Sorry. Okay, just just wondering. Uh, yeah. That's something else I wanted to set back up. Is set the. Uh, well, I'll do that later. You want me to toss it to you real quick? Well, if you want more power out of the system, but right now it's not even at full. It's not even drawing. Well, I mean, just power. so you can hold on to it. I mean, just so you can hold on to it. Well, I don't. I don't need to hold on to it. Although I am wondering why the heck there's a gravestone in one of these chests. Stop bringing your gravestones home, peoples. Bad as Dornell bringing corpses of villagers home, leaving them in chests. <laughs> hmm. Necros. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Twitchy. Well, thanks for coming on and checking out the pack. I mean, catch y'all later. Bye, Twitchy. Later, Twitchy. Yeah, I need to make more of these, and I need more iron for that. Yeah. Okay, so I need to mark a few things down here. Clearly, I need to fix uh, mob spawning. Mob spawning, I need to increase. Increase the uh, frequency of the fortresses. The tech gun. Yep. Tech gun. Fortresses. Forts. So they're not really fortresses. They're usually like they're actually like a little fort. Not not like a full fledged fortress or anything. At least the ones in the overworld are. They're like little things. Um that they, they do look tech technological. Which is cool. Oh, where'd that one come from? Oh that's just that's empty. Okay. Uh, I need to use the infusing chamber, but someone just pumped a crud ton of carbon into it. Well put a crumble, pump a crud ton of iron into it. going to be making more of the basic uh what are the little red things i can't remember the name <laughs> alloy advanced alloy thank you yeah gonna need more iron than that to clear it i know it's still processing i have to do the machine i have to set the machine to go in first if not it just starts draining power out of the entire system Too soon, still. See, I think we needed the steel anyway, so. Hmm. There's some steel! <clears throat> A little bit of steel. Anyway. I just threw, threw the powder in the oven over there to uh, cook. Uh, you know, I could have given you a builder wand if that would help. Nope, oh, I'm good. Okay. I'm trying to make sure not to, in any circumstance, cause the reactor that's active to fuse and start trying to form a new one. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll just stop working, basically, is what'll happen. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> I'm almost done. Is he still cooking back here? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got him turned off, I see. That just do it? I think I may have accidentally just hit... Ow! Almost died from that. <laughs> May have accidentally just... Hold on. Shit, yeah. Shit. Da da da, back up we go. Yep, I know the block that caused that. One second. That was my bad. You disabled the reactor? Yeah. One block I put on accidentally. I, I was hoping it wouldn't, but it did, so... Mm 
<laughs> you waiting on the alloy for the steel? Is that what it is? Or the cell? Yeah. Okay. I gotta process more iron then to get this carbon out of there. Or I could just dump it, but... That's not... You can't dump it, remember? Oh, that's right. You can't dump okay. it from the factory. We had this talk, like, what, two days ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Uh, you can dump it from the uh, the, the individual block, but you can't dump it out of a factory. It's mm -hmm. kind of sucky. Mm -hmm. We got 32, so I need 16 more iron in there. Should clear it. Alright, that's clear. And now there's redstone in it. With some iron. Alright. Ooh, we're doing good. Mm hmm. I gotta say, I was confused when I noticed that the macerator wasn't holding on to any of the iron I was telling it to crush. I wonder then why you crushed it in the maester. Th th then I figured it out and followed the chain. Nah. Because last I knew that was our ore processing. Have you not been downstairs yet? No. Go downstairs. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll grab another stack. Take with me downstairs. Yeah. Neener, neener, neener. All right. Let's see. <laughs> what do we got downstairs? We have industrial grinder, last furnace. Cyber you surgeon. You see the new door. Oh, I need a Zeton 7 for that. Uh, I don't have a Zeton 7. Uh, I see a bunch of rocketry machines. Time Lords. Uh, the door. Dazer. Oh. Actually, that's doable. The War Doctor's uh -huh. Tardis? Uh -huh. Mechanism. Hmm. So, I'm guessing it starts at the right side. 80s Tardis. I like the Which Bad Wolf Tardis. Is not you can put in the chest on the right side and automatically pull it in. There. Except something's jammed. No, I turned it off to let the power regenerate. Ah. Uh, Just put it into the chest right here, and it'll be pulled into the system. Well, I put it into the chest, into the first factory already. Yeah. It already spread out. I'll come turn it back on in a minute. I gotta. I try and let the. I'm trying to let it build up a reserve in the network so it can then just do a big chunk at once, and then I have to pause it again. Dark blue. I'm trying to work out that problem at the moment. Which one's that? Well, I found it, uh, Legos found Dimension. I, uh, I don't know if I want the Legos Dimension targets. Vanilla. <laughs> the 11th Doctors. Is it the 11th Doctors? Which one was the cool one, Dornell? Is you still? Are you still here? Which one was the really super cool one? I want to see if I can make it. Uh, that one just needs a silicon or a sonic crystal, which is. Crystal ingot. There's no recipe for crystal ingots, though. Crystal ingots. You're supposed to get it from breaking the silicon ore. I thought. Ah, oh, crud. Hmm. It doesn't That's a problem. Seem to work. Pepsi. What is that one? Gingerbread Tardis. No, what was the one I just? What was the one I just clicked on? Oh, what's that one? Blank. Okay, well, no, I definitely don't want the blank one. K6 telephone booth, no. Trying to find space block. Trying to find one of these that I can craft that, or I should check to make sure that I can, ah, oh, I need silicon. Okay, but that's a silicate ore. I just need to silk touch it somehow. Hmm, silk touch it. Don't suppose we have silk touch. My music cut out. That must mean it's time to stop this dream because we've gone way too long. <laughs> That's like three hours. Wow. Uh, shoot. Trying to figure out one of these. See, all of these electric circuits require the silicon using the silicate ore from the Dalek mod, but to get the silicate ore into your inventory, like, you, like we got a couple bits of it right over here in the corner under the bed. The problem is, is you can't get it unless you silk touch it. Um... Unless you're supposed to get it, well, with a sonic crystal. Matt Smith's Eleven Doctor was the coolest. Okay, yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Eisenfeld, how you doing? Uh, 
there I, I think I actually make the eleventh doctor's one. The eleventh doctor was one of the ones that was where was that at? That was craftable, I think. Where was it? The eleventh, right there, eleventh doctor's, yeah. Except I need I need the eleventh doctor's sonic screwdriver in order to be able to do that. Which requires a sonic crystal, which requires crystal ingot, which you can't get in the current pack. Yeah, I was. I really got to. I really got to do something about that. <laughs> I really got to do something about that. Um, maybe that's something I need to like address. Uh, Darla, uh, Dalek, uh, Dalek crystal crafting. So maybe we'll add some recipes for that. Um. There's crystal ore, but the problem is when you break it with a pick with any kind of pickaxe, at least any kind of pickaxe that I've tried, I mean we have some crystal ore down here. The problem is is it doesn't actually drop anything. So I'm thinking maybe you have to have a sonic screwdriver and maybe there's a son but the problem is you need a sonic screwdriver or you need a crystal to make a sonic screwdriver. Uh it's just a, just a bad cycle there. Just a bad cycle. Where does it I know I've seen some crystal ore down in here somewhere. Somewhere it should be like right along the, the thing here somewhere I believe. Where did I see that? Over here. I don't know. Maybe somebody tried to break it because it's not here now. If it was here. Can you break it to put the reactor up to a higher level? No, that was silicate ore. Ah. Uh. Now uh, there was some crystal ore like right along the the stairs here somewhere. Yeah, I think it was like right there. It's gone or right there. One of these little holes along the side here. Somebody tried to break it. Uh and you can't currently get it for some reason it or it doesn't drop anything. Um either that they I don't know if that's because I you're not breaking it with the right tool like there's a special tool from from uh, from uh, the Dalek mod. Oh, you know which one I might be able to craft is the gingerbread Tardis. It still requires a silicon, which is a silicate ore. I mean, that would be totally craftable. It would look ridiculous, though. It would. It, it is funny. Um, the other thing is it takes steel, Dalek steel, lots of it. I don't know if we have enough yet. Yeah. We have a good amount. 32, yeah, but it takes... Uh, seven blocks of dialect steel plus, uh, plus two more ingots. So yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's actually more than a stack. Uh, or a stack plus two. Plus one. Anyway, yeah, stack of steel. Uh, the special steel, not the, just the regular one. I'm thinking it might be time to just spawn one in creatively because I'd like to show that off at the end of the stream because I believe this might be the last beta stream uh, for the pack. So I think I've showed off enough of the cool stuff that we've seen some guns. In fact, in fact, let's pass out some big guns. Options. Hang on here. Let's get in creative mode. Now we're not done. We're not done playing on. We're not done playing beta. I'm just done. This is going to be the last stream of beta, I believe. Uh, so don't expect another one for another couple weeks, and that'll actually be the live. Uh, will should be the official release version, hopefully. So game mode one. Let's come over here. Find us the gun tab. There it is. All right, you get one of these. Where's uh, where I hear I hear somebody else. Who's down here? <laughs> Me. I am making room for a rolling machine, Dang. so we can make tanks for the spacesuit. Uh, what's this one do? I'm gonna go find something to shoot. Here, here you go. It's a can. Let's find a good one here. Bouncy dirt. Stupid bouncy dirt. Actually, let me do it this way. Tech 
gun. Oh, wow. And where's that one at? I'm doing good. Uh, here's one for you. Here's, here's one for you. See? No, it's your Where's, uh... Guys? And... Let's see, here's, uh... Where's the, where's the good one? Here's one for you. Here's another one for you. Um... Some things to shoot outside. Oh. <clears throat> where's those other things at? There should be some... If I can find it here in my... There it is. Here's, here's, some, Ammos. here's some for you. No. Oh no, you don't get ammo. You just get a a loaded gun. After that, it's it's no good. What? <laughs> you got another gun. I got this one. All right, in the death ray. And what else? Okay, that's good. I passed out some guns. Set for ready to play. Hey, guns. <laughs> Don't waste in your ammo. <laughs> oh, you know that can charge up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we shot it onto the extractor. You, you know they don't work versus play. Oh. Oh. If you shoot us the blob again, and it explodes. Yes, that's how it works. Yep, that's how it's supposed to work anyway. You you charge it up, shoot a big one, and then you shoot a little one at it. They don't work for PvP? No, there's no PvP on the server. Aww. <laughs> there's nothing out here to shoot. Not yet. <laughs> My ammo's almost gone. Well, <laughs> I, I told you guys don't bother shooting at each other because it's a waste. Where's the one that I want for myself? The TFG. Isn't it the BFG? Uh, or they rebranded. They rebranded it. Uh -huh. The TFG. Okay. And then I want a Tardis. Tar Targus. <laughs> Tardis. Really? Why did it not show up over here? Okay, we'll, we'll go over here and search for it. Uh, and Dornell's not here to tell me which one was the really, really good one. There was a really, really good one. <laughs> you cheetah! <laughs> Ooh, that sounds fun, too. Mm. Okay, we're gonna do... What was it? The 11th Doctor's TARDIS, I think. Bad Wolf? No, where's it at? TARDIS? Yeah, the 11th Doctor's TARDIS. What's the difference between the copper one? Is there a different one? Ninth and tenth, twelfth doctors. I think it's the twelfth doctors that I actually liked. The newest one. Yeah. Well, the TARDIS, not not the series. Yeah, I know. In the game. Where'd you go, train? Oh wait, you over there. All right, guys, let's get into a TARDIS. Wait, I must come back and join you. Okay. We'll go. Get back at game mode zero. Yeah, yeah, I got my TARDIS. No, no, please stop. I'm actually lagging. Stop it. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Need to get I food. I do not have permission to enter. No. Ooh, this is, yeah, this is one of the cool ones. This is not the one I was thinking of, but yeah, this, I, actually, no, I think this is the one I was thinking of. Would you what like the? to come in? I think there's a mm -hmm. door control here somewhere. Is that it? Yeah. Wait, no, is it this one? Door control. I made a big hole, knocked. Yes, yes, it did. And no it permission. dropped all the blocks. Get some food What's that? Quick. You coming in? No permission. I on the ground. Hmm. I don't know that I can set permissions. Is there a permission thing? TARDIS monitor. We'll just deep interiorize. 
get out of here. No! Um, I don't think there's anything I... that lets lets me. Maybe I. Maybe it's because mm. the door's locked. Maybe I need a TARDIS key. I got one. Well, it won't help you. <laughs> it won't give you access to my TARDIS. No, but you could have it and use it. Yeah. I just spawned one, so. It takes me forever to load. Hi. There we go. We did that just for the sake of cleaning up extra blocks real quick. Because that thing drops a lot of blocks when you set off a bunch of them. The TARDIS is go. locked! Unlock it. That's so cool. Well, he went in. What, oh, you, what? you actually walk into it, by the way. Why, were you trying to, like, click on it? Yeah. Whisper. Let's just walk oh right inside. My God, oh, this is awesome. Cool. Oh, my gosh. All right, hang on. Let's, uh... Let's go to... Let's go to... Sarko. Where? We're going to Sarko. These are still being written. They will be patched soon. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Toyota Bookshop. We're rematerializing. Would you like to see what's outside? Yes. I can't just sit in the chairs. Oh. Sarko! Ooh, that is so cool looking. Ooh, whoa, what's that over there? What is that? Oh, goodness, zombie miner right outside the door. Shoot it with a fire thing! I killed it. Still loading terrain. Wait, why are there... Is this a ship we landed next to? Yes. This this is the this is one of the homeworlds. This is the homeworld. Oh my gosh, we're right underneath. We're inside a ship. No wonders. Ugh. Crud. Uh, How the TARDIS is crushed under I can't ship. see anything. Can I even break this? No. It's a Dalek City mock. We're in the Dalek City. <laughs> we are Dalek. This is the Dalek home planet. I seriously see all black. You keep taking the oh, because you never put the free runners on or whatever. We got mining mm -hmm. fatigue and slowness. I wonder. Oh, the planet planet effects. We're having planet effects here. <laughs> Where's the TARDIS? I moved it over here. I I can't see. I literally cannot see anything, and I'm taking damage from something. Yeah, it's atmosphere pro atmosphere issues. Your head in a block. Ow! Son of a gun. That's radiation that's killing us. Oh, that would that would be uh oops. Did I just crash? Crash. Everybody left the game all at once. Ah! <laughs> all right. Oh, no, my stuff is stuck in the Dalek home world. <laughs> well, you'll be there when you log back in. <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I got it. I I stepped out of the TARDIS and literally just saw black. <laughs> that was it. It was all I could see. I tried breaking things. I was able to place torches around me, apparently. But yeah, there was torches all around you. Blind. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that's a good place to wrap the stream up here. Um, I, we're going to continue on for a little bit, see if the server is actually dead or not. <laughs> Looks like it yep, is. It's it's in restart. It's in restart mode. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. All right. We'll see what what's up with that. I, I'm not exactly sure, but that might be a, a cross mod compatibility issue with the new mods we shall see but anyway guys thanks so much for watching <laughs> and i will hey i'm back in cool uh and dying again a little bit uh actually other than that we seem to be okay i'm gonna Let's... get my stuff and then once we get back to earth i'm probably gonna log off there's a bunch of rounds or uh shotgun things on the floor rifle 
magazines. Well, that's, that's probably mine. Oh, I guess the extra inventory probably just drops whenever you. Uh, yeah. Whenever I you do die. not have permission to enter the TARDIS. I get a teleport. Was that not possible? Um, I'm not sure that that maybe I'll try. I'll try. Yep, can't do that across dimensions. Crud. I'll have to come back and get you in the TARDIS. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, in my face. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so back to what they call. So, uh, yeah, overworld save and dematerialize. Rematerializing. <laughs> I just see you guys rematerializing. That's amazing. I'll stay here. Oh, I should have just opened the door from the inside. That would have worked. I didn't need to actually come out. Oop. Oh, door's the other side now. Yeah, door's on the other side right now. Did you get in? Yep. Are you coming back in, Noct, just so I can get you off the planet over there? <laughs> Maybe. Did we lose Knock altogether, though? I think we might have lost Knock. No, I'm okay. still here. Okay, just making sure. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> just had, had to mute due to excessive background noise. Right. Oh, we could have went to Tresnalore. That, okay, that's okay. We went to Sarko, though. Tresnalore might have been a little, in little bit easier. I'll wait in here this time. <laughs> I, I really hope you can get me off this planet because I have no idea. I, I, I still can't see anything but black. That is weird. Even if I go F5. I, what? Like at uh, certain uh, angles, I can almost kind of see. Oh, we're inside. Sky. We're inside. No, that's a problem. Not, 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 not. Ah, I can't word. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I've got slowness and mining fatigue on four of level four of both, and oh, I, just, I still need to get my grave I still, still can't out see there. anything. Walk, walk forward. Walk forward. Slightly to the left. To the left. 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 Hold on. Let me just push him. He's good. He got there through. Go. Okay. Thank now goodness. I need to go out there and get my gravestone. Hey, I can see. I wonder if it has to do with your set. I don't know what. what the, are you gonna go outside and get your greenstone or what? I can't break. I don't have any tools. I can't break nothing either. I don't know what you. <laughs> I can't do nothing here. It's like what you have is, creative mode. Oh, okay. That's because it's mining fatigue four. Jeez. Oh God. That's worse mining fatigue than you get from the elder guardians. Oh, I guess it'd help if I did the right number here. Yeah. Uh, here you go. I don't think that's the surface. Well, you, you still gotta get out of this thing, so go down. Ah, oh, crash. Star Cruiser. Dang it. <laughs> crash. 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 Ah, I'm gonna have to check the. I'm gonna have to check the crash logs later. Figure out what that's all about. Oh, that sucks. It's got to be an issue with um, and you know I tested all this too in in single player. I wonder if it's just because it's randomly generating some effects, some uh, some of those uh, those nasty negative effects. Well, anyway, guys, I did say I was going to wrap this uh, stream up, so let me go ahead and actually stop the stream. Thanks, everybody, for for hanging out and, uh, you know, all that other fun stuff. We're going to keep debugging and uh, working on uh, fine-tuning the pack, but expect the actual series to start in about uh, 7 to 14 days. So until then, I will catch you later. Take it easy, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>